Hey, looks like it's all working. Let me just... I'm actually sending out the... Oh shit, I was going to do this too. Let's make sure that this goes up. Hello, everybody. It's been a couple of weeks. I was going to stream last week, but I went to see a friend of mine I've not seen for a long time instead. And I feel like that was a good use of my time. <laughs> then I caught a cold. I've been off work all week. I'm just now getting over it. So apologies for any of the gross noises that you hear. There will be slightly more of them than usual. So what did we do last time? We are sol we are solving the mystery of who killed a person whose name I remember. Halcyon Helen. Real name Ruth Baker? Ruth something? Basically, an uh, uh, actress, a soap actress, or like a serial actress was killed by... Um, what is this? I'll go do that too. Yeah, she was killed. I got invited to solve the murder because I'm uh, basically an impartial observer when there's a bunch of people feuding over... So if I'm going to be honest, I don't remember a great deal from last time, which sucks. It's the one thing I was worried about happening is I forgot all of my theories. But my theory is Halcyon Helen is still alive. I think this is a massive publicity stunt is my my guess. Could be wrong. There are like a lot of a lot of potential suspects that we've got to run down. Her co-star wanted her gone. Um, her old lover one potentially wanted her gone. There was an obsessive fan at the hotel she was staying at. So there's lots of people who could potentially have done it or had a hand in it. At the moment, we found residue we found at the bottom of Halcyon Helen's shoes indicates she went to the Purpleberry Orchards a short time before her death, perhaps leaving a clue concerning her murder. And we will solve this murder or die trying. I'm going to make sure I've definitely 100% sent the links out. Yes, I did. Because I did this last time. I said I, was, I said I was going to send the links out, wrote them up, and then just didn't send them. So we also have there's a productivity person who was the last person to see her alive, I think. Or, or she'd been with her that day. Because um, she was worried that Halcyon Helen's work was costing her money. So she has a profit motive. But I couldn't get to her last week because that area was locked and I didn't have the key for it. So I think I've got to do some more of this stuff before I can do that. Anyway, we got here and we killed some stuff over there. Also, we have a robot that kind of solves, that alerts us when there's clues nearby. Then we've got to keep him equipped, haven't we? Which I believe is here. I forget how to use him. Hello, Sydney. Where were you on the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Well, 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 <laughs> it's Rizzo's. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence. What is that coming out of her neck? That's gross. I don't know if whatever that is is catching, but let's keep our Yeah, distance. good call, Ellie. I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. Now, nah, let's pretend this is normal. No, what in the Lord's name is that on your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Oh my god. That is like making her... That is making her deliriously fucking happy. Let's cut that off. Don't you dare! <laughs> or I'll cut something off you! Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger. I don't like this at all. It means hurting you. Yeah, I'm getting worried. This is very much like Nick from um, Invader Zim. He's just like so happy about everything, but like he's clearly in agonizing pain. Uh, I'm a little worried. How did you pick that thing up? I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad, so I don't worry about it. This upsets me. I don't like this. How long have you been this way? A couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. 
Matt's getting upset. Yeah, that's great. Can we change the topic? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Uh, anything you tell me about the orchards? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks. And Rizzo's put this in their neck, didn't they? Some confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. Uh, I might be interested in hearing more about that. Oh, I'm so glad you <clears throat> said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Inside, she's silently oh, screaming, I imagine. So rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. I don't want one of those in my neck, though. Uh, Rizzo's really pushes the hard sell, huh? What are my options? Uh, huh? Oh, no. Rizzo's doesn't make me recommend the tour. Helping customers I'm very, just makes very me happy. Than I already am. And that's saying a lot. Ugh. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. The smell's gonna haunt my night. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. There's really nothing better than feeling... That's like really upsetting. I don't like it. ...self-contentment. Now, I'd be pleased as punch to sell you a tour ticket. Oh, God. Just anything to end this. Uh, what are my options? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with a novelty purple berry in amber. And the golden ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. I'll buy a ticket. Which kind would you like? I'm going to go golden deluxe, aren't I? Like, give me a golden one. You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? Oh. Terrifying. Well, I'll That's take it. Great. Thank you so much. Man, what else have you got? Any booze, man? Booze, I tell you. Um, well, I'm not buying a lot of other fucking things. It's some Spectrum vodka, though. And I do need food. Because uh, I have, if you haven't been watching the previous streams, I have, basically I gave myself a food and alcohol addiction. Which basically means I've got to be constantly eating and getting s hammered, otherwise my stats go down. But I did get a perk point for it, so who's to say whether it's good or bad? Uh, I, I want these Doritos things. Our alcohol stocks are larger than ever. And a good thing, too, because I just can't seem to stop myself from getting into them. Our products are. I don't think she can good. stop herself. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I don't like you. Well, I think she's love. She's probably lovely without that fucking thing in her neck. Ugh. Terrifying. Um. Who lives in here? Maybe I could hold up my end if your people weren't sabotaging my operations. Fucking Rick over there. Uh, hello. Sorry, can't talk. We're busy having a very tedious conversation. And if sabotaging the orchards weren't enough, you had to make it personal. You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker too? Sorry, gross noises are gonna happen. I'm getting over cold. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. Who was this armed stranger who just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? Maybe. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this lass. I think it's probably <clears throat> more likely that she's under your payroll. You'd have burned down what you haven't already. Gentlemen, please, I can be on both of your payroll and burn down all of your stuff. Things have a tendency to break about around me, but I don't know about sabotage. No, I'm really, let's not say I can't be. Let's tell her about the murder, you know, I want more information. I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone <clears throat> abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some trouble here of late. I'll say so. Do you see the fucking thing in that woman's neck? And I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. 
Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of customer service rep. Guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? Tell me, do you know who killed Halcyon Helen? Because I'm really stumped about that. Um, had you seen Halcyon Helen at all prior to her death? Yeah, I saw her. Tried to flag her down for an autograph, but to no avail. Ran right by me. No idea where she was heading. Seemed like she had a lot on her mind. Ruth Hathaway, I want to say? I don't know. It was Ruth something. Ruth Bellamy. Ruth Bellamy was her name. The actress's name is Ruth Bellamy. The character is Halcyon Helen. But everyone refers to her as Halcyon Helen all the time. That's what, that's what leads me to believe that the actress is still alive. Um, I overheard you mention sabotage. Sabotage. Yeah. Just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, the woe to add to the pile, Morty. Staff and causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling, demanding all of our resources, and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. And that was my course, Rick impression. Slug Not has very decided good. that instead of being reasonable, they're just going to sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Yeah, pay your people. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager. Lying about sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's were short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Pay your people. At the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. Am I going to have to look into this? Um, I can figure out what's really going on. What sort of sabotage has there been? You mentioned an increase in worker accidents. Yeah, up the workers. The strangest thing. Like everyone forgot their 10-minute workplace safety seminars. <laughs> That's twice as long as the next leading brand. Our people are ten whole minutes experts. I've seen folks step on open electrical wires, drop pallets on each other. One damn fool even blundered into a wasp keto hive. Where wasp quito? Even as he died, he looked fairly pleased. That sounds horrifying. They sound pleased. They've got a little passenger in their neck, haven't they? Um, what sort of sabotage has there oh, been? You know, nothing particularly troublesome. Just rogue exterminator mechanicals opening fire on anything that twitches within 300 yards of them. We've also got a large group of new saplings, all dead from some kind of toxic substance. Poison, I guess. And who could forget the tower processing console, which probably just shorted out and stopped working on its own, even though it's outfitted with three separate backup systems? There are a suite of explanations for what could have happened. Most pointing to Rizzo's worker incompetence. My people didn't sabotage. No, I think it's the little passengers, personally. That sounds like... That sounds like that. they're the problem. But I could figure it out. Thank the law. Some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence... I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. So we now have... Investigate the dead saplings, stop the exterminator things, and inspect the fried console. Now I can talk I'm to you. I'm sorry you had to come in on such a brusque <laughs> conversation. Not everyone appreciates the work Slug does. I don't trust Slug either. Especially not folk that Slug is trying to extort. I don't trust either of you people. All right. It seems I need to say it yet again. We're not stomping upon your purple berries or knocking your workers off the planetoid. All we want is for you to pay your I recognize bills. his voice from somewhere. I want you to stop setting our exterminator mechanicals loose and breaking our machinery. This is how the conversation has gone for the last hour and a half. As you can see, it hasn't been terribly productive. Uh, you seen any sign of Halcyon Helen recently? She's dead, you know. No. Sorry. But this is the first I've visited this area in over a month. Shame about Helen. Liked her movies. Oh, me too. We didn't get many episodes of Terror on Monarch back in the Vale, but I thought she was great in Dissidents from the Doomed Planet. Celebs as big as Helen always seem to elicit strong binary opinions in people. But that's neither here nor hmm. there. What can Slug do for you? Where were you the night she was murdered? I can't ask that, but what seems to be your problem with the overseeing orchidist? That's a name I'm gonna enjoy saying a lot. Well, he's being difficult, as you've no doubt seen. All I'm here to do is enforce an agreed-upon business relationship. 
But our friend here is disinclined to settle. Don't tell me to settle. Why don't you settle? Yes, I'll be <laughs> sure to do that. I know what you must be thinking, but no, I'm not here to atomize his kneecaps. I just want Slug to get what we're owed. I can atomize his kneecaps. Um. Uh... I can't afford. It's going to be more than I can afford. I don't have much money. Um, but any truth to his accusations of sabotage? If I hear that question one more time, I swear. Look. Look. We just want to get running paid. down. Hampering our clients' productivity is not a good way to get paid. In fact, it's I believe bad you. Business. Just after I asked the question. Uh, uh, let's see how much it That's, is. You're weird, generous, but weird. How much is it? The sentiment is nice, but Rizzo's doesn't just pay money. They're also literally our meal tickets. Unless you also happen to own an orchard, I don't think you can clear this guy. Hmm. Is this an official arrangement with Rizzo's? Much as we love giving the bureaucrats 29% of our profits, technically not. Official contracts have some rather obscene fees and documentation. There's the sublight I know. Instead... Our company's opted for a non-official manager's agreement. I'm just here to make certain our friend over there pays on time. Let's talk about something else. I'm not saying that one. That seems like, um... I already believe him. I honestly, I think he just wants to get paid. I don't see... And it's sublights at the end of the day, isn't it? Like, they are just in it for the money. They're not, like... They're not, like, just going to destroy stuff. As you said, like, they rely on these people to eat. They're not going to make life difficult for them if they don't have to. Yes. I think we've spoken enough about that imbecile. I think the relationship soured though. I think once it gets paid they're gonna be gone. But I'd like to know a bit You're more about you. Too. I don't have any secrets. Is there a Mrs. Eaton? Uh do you know anything do you do anything other than make slugs official business partners pay on time? Certainly. When I'm not out on a job, they usually stick me in the slug mess hall. I may be a service collector. But that doesn't mean I can't make a damn fine trip of kale pie. Uh, You're welcome to. I don't have any secrets. I don't think he does. I think he's. I think he's quite straight and. Obviously, I could be wrong. Could be fucking wildly off course. But I think he just wants to get paid. Um, I think he's talking about the orchards. That you couldn't observe yourself. I try not to spend much time here. Hate the outdoors. <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. These orchards are more of a wreck than even some of the cities on Monarch. Mismanagement, I suspect. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have fun killing each other. Uh, we have a lot of... Ooh, Did step you know a third of Halcyonites are allergic to trees? Most spend their whole lives in ships or in their town's walls. Huh. Caution. Pollinization swarms in use in this area. Unauthorized personnel may be killed at their own expense. Sweet. How are we doing for... I think... I want to see what guns I've got. So we have our creature killer. Another creature killer. And a ballistic weapon. But it sounds like there's going to be some auto mechanicals here. So I will drop that and pick this up. And... I'm making repair everything too. Oh yeah, I can afford that. So let's. Said there was auto mechanicals, so we'll keep our electricity gun handy. Where is it, mystery butt? Where is it, boy? These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the grand ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin <coughs> of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, Ruth Bellamy. the actress known as House I remember that. Examine the footprint and depth and spacing. Let's go Sherlock on this shit, why not? Oh man. Well that sucks. Did you find anything? Uh, they're definitely Helen's footprints. I mean... <coughs> I mean, that's a bit... That's Pavati. I'm not going to be sarcastic to Pavati. They're definitely Helen's footprints. At least we know she was here. 
Ellie, I might be sarcastic too, but Pavati is an angel. Honestly, the only one I dislike is Reverend Max, and even then, he's a better person now. We fixed him. We need a drink, so let's have that. Get our gun back up. Ooh. Effusive host. Oh, he's got a little passenger in his head. Ah! Don't like it. Kill them all, I say. The orchard's purple very puzzle hedges. The conservatory storage warehouse and the hive. God damn. Purpleberry puzzle hedges. That sounds like something you'd say to someone to stop them from having a stutter. Such lovely weather calls for a harvest, I do oh, hello. I didn't realize anyone was alive here. Well, ah. oh, sweet hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. Oh, my dear law. Sir? I don't mean to be rude, but do you know what's going on with your face? Why, thank you. Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Oh, I want to take that off so Rizzo's badly. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a puzzle hedges, trademark maze hunt, and special edition <laughs> taste testing for an extra thirty-five. Bits you know what? I was doing the trademark thing as a joke, but like they're still they're fucking throwing it in there, aren't they? Um, you seem excessively happy. Why you say that as if it's a bad thing? I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all the Veradanos who isn't a hundred percent thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. I love how they've done the facial animations. Like, so it's definitely fucking terrifying. Like, I don't like it at all. It's genuinely upsetting me. But kudos to them. They fucking done a good job making it terrifying. That's not creepy at all. I'm so glad you agree. At Rizzo's, we encourage our employees to view customers in the same way they would a board-approved social acquaintance. Which means it is my pleasure to spend time with you, even when I am not being paid to do so. Isn't that nice? I certainly think so. Uh, and you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? I don't think you've ever... Breathtaking tools. No, have a smile on your face. The orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the nut hut. I don't like it. <laughs> um, got a tour ticket already. Um, do you know if Halcyon Helen came through here? Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. You could look a bit sad about she it. She did come by, but not during any <laughs> official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. Uh, Helen was the spokeswoman for the Spectrum Browns ad campaign. You fool. That's right. You clown. She, was, she sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. Uh, stop smiling Lowe like that. Is one of our certified tour guides Lower your head. A much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. I gotta take it. I bought a ticket. See any metal weapons lying around? Bottle of poison, smoking laser pistol, bloody blunt force object. <laughs> we are really stumped on this one. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is. Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes. She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. Deadly pollinization wasquitoes. Pollinization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty, for safety reasons. When a Lower your head. I don't like it when he lifts his head like that. All wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive. 
their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. Seems like the perfect place so to hide some evidence, though. For safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. I actually already purchased a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. I don't remember the rest of the song, but yeah. <laughs> Very underwhelming. Underwhelming musical numbers is what this stream is known for, if anything. Um, are you the groundskeeper? Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now. A week ago? Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. You don't find it suspicious that the last groundskeeper went missing unexpectedly. This might set him off, but I honestly want to set them off. I want to, like, kill one of these guys and autopsy them. Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply <laughs> no. disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of wealth. So don't worry about it. No mystery, and certainly no murder with what happened there. I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasp heroes on trial. <laughs> Accidents do happen on the job. This is terrifying. Uh, wait, no, we're not glossing over this missing groundskeeper. No one knows what happened to him. Shouldn't you be more worried about your own well-being? Seems like groundkeepers don't last long around here. I don't think he's going to tell me either way, so I'll say that one. Why would I? I am daily filled with bursting happiness by bringing to fruition my life's purpose. This job is a blessing. In fact, I can't say I've ever been merrier in my whole life. I... <laughs> I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. I wrote a story a while ago, and it's called Happy Family. It's on my website, mattholandauthor.com, check that out. About literally this, like, something just getting into people's heads and making them deliriously, stupidly happy. And it's just really, it's just something that really upsets me. Like, it's just really unsettling. Like, you gotta let people be miserable. It's the natural state of being for everybody in a capitalist society. Forcing happiness on people... When they don't want it, it is fucking sick. It's sick. Oh, I want to just take that fucking little passenger right out of there. Anyway, oh, I purchased a golden, golden, a golden ticket. I purchased a golden ticket. Well, now you certainly are an individual of refined taste. There are folks who defend the premium option and its sprat petting zoo, but once you've been bit by one sprat, you've been bit by them all. Whoa, I thought I got to go of to... Of course, tours of any access level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasp kiddos are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. I'm going to be scrapping with some wasp, wasp, wasp kiddos, aren't I? Enough about the orchards. Gosh, and goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about whatever interests you, because that's what interests me, too. Oh, I hate this. Uh, I'm on an investigation. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office. Oh, let's lie and say we are. That's right, Inspector Malay McDonald, here to inspect the health and safety of your crops. Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the orchardists this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to slug. They were always a reliable... Oh, he's miserable now. Uh, ...regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Ms. Inspector? What's the thing on your neck? What's the thing on your neck? Get that out of your, out of your neck! It's not good! Get it out of there! The overseeing archivist already paid, told me about Rizzo's relationship with Slug. Did he now? That's He's not smiling. Right. He has been mightily outspoken in his disdain for Slug in recent months. I'm talking down. The overseeing oh, no, no, he's back. The last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. 
Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need for unsightly intimidation tactics. Hmm. What exactly is this medical treatment? I suspect it's getting one of those slugs put in your neck. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. Trade secrets and all that. You understand, I'm sure. I got some... Ah, uh, come on. Right, that's enough. I'm... Of course. Uh, goodbye. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitos tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep them behind an electric fence, you know. Oh, I hate this. I hate, I hate looking at them. I can't, like, make eye contact. It really, really, really scares me. <laughs> like... <laughs> Cannot stress. Well, I'm gonna go back and talk to the fucking overseer because this guy seems like he's up to some shit. Hey, dick face. You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. So put the fucking stuff I in the next. Wonder that nothing in these law-forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. Yeah, pipe How's down, Clyde. Going? You got a complete report for me yet? Still looking. Wow. Oh man. At the moment, I can't do a whole lot. Oh, I suppose. Really now. Ugh. I consider myself more of a. I'm so sick of listening to these fucking people. Um. I just skipped through all that. Cause I'm so sick of listening to the fucking snipe at each other. Just, I get it. You hate each other. I want to know about the stuff in their necks. How to get them out there? Uh, any leads on the nursery? A lot of dead saplings that'll cost us a lot of bits. I've got a feeling someone poisoned them somehow. Uh, what happened to the exterminator auto mech depot? The mechanicals were hacked. They're pretty much running amok. If you could keep from destroying too many, I'd be obliged. Would save us a lot. No, I'm gonna destroy a bunch of them. Uh, that said, you might want to be careful. Those things are built to take on wasquitos, and wasquitos are generally tougher to kill than people. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, something in particular to watch out for in the processing control room. The tower processing console is completely fried. Whoever took it out must have used some kind of explosive. I'll be back. Oh, you will rue. You will rue this day. Because I think he put some stuff in the next. Anyway, let's, um... Okay. So, where does that leave me? Spotted Helen in the orchards in the night of her death. Where she met Dr. Leora Blossom. These are designed to trigger my fucking stutter. Dr. Leora Blossom. Anyway. Yeah, like... Well, I'm gonna have to fight, some, fight with some mosquitoes, aren't I? Uh, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look uh. Sweetest hello to you again, Orchard's visitor. Have you tried Rizzo's Purple Berry Bunch? Our soft, sour candy shell surrounds a sweet purple berry flavored center. Suck it. Don't tell me Do to it. suck it with a lat yeah, look on your face. It. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a puzzle head. Yeah, we've done that. Um, tell me about the orchards. And excellent. Now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development. Nearly natural. We call so you know it's good. Landscape the purple berry orchard, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, pea free nuts, tarmac, and more. Of course, Did you say tarmac? I, I was checking the stream. Be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasquitos. Yeah, done this already. Uh, that's all I can do. I do hope this. <sighs> Sounds like he's the the lead that I've got to follow for this. Let's just do this quest. Faithful to the results in our fashion. Let's do this one because we're here, and we're also. I've got to do this too. Which let's look at the map. Uh, we're here. So we're not let's not do that one. Let's. Oh, hold on. Ooh, let's do this one, and we'll find some clues on the way, shall we? Oh, thank you, Robert. Is it him? 
Are you the timeline discrepancy? Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Like, look at this thing on his neck, is that? That's not funny! Eh, don't like him. Really don't like him. Um. Said this. I hate this. I hate like the. We we kind of touched on this last time. The pixel hunt nature of this quest, or, or like this DLC, is quite irritating. Uh, it just tells you there's a discrepancy that you've got to analyze, and you can see his little ears pop up when you're nearby. Oh, is it this? Was it that? Oh, there it is. That's the one. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Anything else? I'll take your lunch and your wine, though. Is there another one down here? There's another one here, but I... Oh, wait. No, I saw it pop over here. Or did I? That's the thing. I'm colorblind. <laughs> so, like, having the things be slight variations in color is quite difficult for me to see. Oh, is that... Oh, it popped over here. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right. Is this like, this is the thing, like I've been playing Spider-Man, I'm still playing Spider-Man. Um, and a lot of the times when my spider sense goes off and I can't find the thing, it's usually because it's underneath. There's, it's like in a tunnel underneath it. Is this like that? Is there a tunnel underneath here that I'm, it's just like, it's popping the discrepancy thing, but. Oh, wait, there's that, there it is. Okay, and then we found more over here, didn't we? Yeah, they are so hard to see. Uh, all right. Um... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. <laughs> Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the Did I hear someone happy? Ah, what? I'll show you happiness. Wait. Oh, let me get a gun. Shit! I don't have my people killers. Uh, all right, hold on. You only have four slots, and I've got to use one of them for this fucking robot. Right, there we go. Where's my people killer? Oh god. Die, you fucker! I just wanted to make show you happiness. Well, I'm better at melee combat anyway. Get yeah, fucked! Don't you put one of those things in me? Ah! Ooh, I don't like that. Can I do an autopsy on this guy? Because I. Oof. Oh, I got the. I took the. I took the thing off. Can I? Oh, I can't use my medical thing on it. Um. I mean, we knew this was going to be a problem, didn't we? The, uh... Oh, wrong button. Oh. Hello. Hey! Thank God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She doesn't have a thing on her neck. Logan. Okay, you can do this, Anna. <clears throat> Here goes. It doesn't matter if you're you or me. We're all part of the Rizzo's family. How was that? A sick that was piece of capitalist propaganda. Keep at it. Yeah, that was completely splendid. Didn't embarrass off the slightest bit. No, just. 
Well, that's a wager I sure would have lost. Guess even a busted spectrometer can be right if you hold it to the light, huh? I'm sure you've guessed it, but I'm not the best at remembering slogans. Fuck slogans! Even I can't remember them, I tend to just make them up. Good! But I guess that's why I'm just an intern and not a full-timer. At least, not yet. You haven't been causing trouble in the election? Ah, it's fucking... Don't get me them fun. You see any sign of a beleaguered actor running around? Oh yes. I thought I saw someone who looked self-important enough to be her by the conservatory some time ago. Not to speak ill of the dead. I simply never liked the way she stole the limelight from the true star. Burbage 3001. The robot? <laughs> You're a Burbage fan? I certainly am. That aerodynamic chassis, how the light glints off his rotund head, the way he enunciates, cry havoc and let loose the cadence of war. Different strokes, different folks, I guess. A light headed there. Nobody does Shakespeare like Burbage. What were we talking about? Uh, what about Spencer Woolrich? He was the uh, Halcyon Helen's co-star, by the way. Who? <laughs> yeah, people are saying that. That's showbiz for you. So. I also suppose Helen won't be stealing the limelight ever again. We have motive now. You haven't been causing trouble in the arches, have you? What? No, that's ridiculous. I can't tell you I've never made any mistakes, but it'd be pretty hard to keep my job if I were trying to break everything. Though there was the time I tried to fix a broken hinge on one of our mosquito hives and released a swarm. Chased me around the orchards three times before I managed to get help. Considering the whole sting you to death thing, I feel like it got up easy. Um, yeah, I'll go that one. Don't I know it. A worker friend of mine ran afoul of one of the swarms and had to get new kidneys. Not due to renal failure, but because the mosquitoes kept stinging his kidneys. <laughs> Don't worry, though. Mosquitoes are typically only about when living folks aren't in the orchards. So what happens if the mosquitoes get out during visiting hours? I am contractually obligated to tell you that mosquitoes never get out during visiting hours. But they but do, though, they don't do, they? The only way to get them to return is to go directly to hive control and activate emergency recall. Which isn't easy, considering all the hives near control. But this is all a departure from what I wanted to say. I've been trying to help the orchards, not harm them. Hold a moment. You haven't found anything, have you? You should really just come clean. There's nothing to come clean about. I've just been doing my best out here. Anything else? No, okay, all right. I mean, I must have met an intern on my earth life, but let's try that. It's not so different from being a regular worker. Just with less pay and less respect. Oh, it's also more dangerous than traditional employment. You don't have the experience to back up your work yet, but being fired isn't any less threatening. Like... Work-wise, I do a bit of everything. The orchards have been short-staffed as long as I've been working here. So if there's an odd job around, it usually gets passed to me. So she gets paid. So she's treated better in Halcyon than interns get treated on Earth. <laughs> Let that sink in, capitalists. It's not good. Um, why be an intern if it's riskier than typical employment? Obvious reasons, because of capitalism. But much higher chance of promotion. If I can tough it out here without getting axed, I can skip the five plus years of customer service I'd normally have to deal with. I can prove my merit here and move up in the world. And the sooner I do that, the sooner I can set to improving things for everyone else. Helping folks is dangerous. Oh, come on. Assuming no one exploits your weaknesses to push you into unemployment. Wow, that's some decidedly paranoid thinking. I can't imagine someone ever doing something that nasty. If you think you don't intend to stay an intern... But she said that. We know that. How do you get your position? Laws, you've got a sixth sense for finding the most embarrassing question, huh? I am a detective. My mother is the Rizzo's assistant vice president of flavor testing. She set me up with this position. Mostly to keep me from troubling her work, I think. Consequently, I don't always feel She's like a Nepo so baby. Easier. All the more reason to work harder, I say. She's a Nepo baby, being an intern, getting paid less, and being stung by wasps every day. Ah, uh, yeah. This, yeah, capitalism, it's bad. It's not do it anymore. No one enjoys it. I take it you don't intend to stay an intern? As much as I love delivering coffee and medical attention, not quite, no. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I sometimes feel that our workers could be treated a little better. 
Maybe only get electrocuted awake every other day? I mean... So I'm shooting for administration in Rizzo's. Maybe even the board itself. Best way to evoke change is from the inside, I think. Good for you, I guess, but also... Like... Yeah, good that we've got people working on the inside as well as on the outside, which is what we did in the main quest. I mean, kind of in this playthrough, that's kind of still to come, but suspend your disbelief because I didn't have the DLCs when I did the main quest, so yeah, I've learned my film. Happy to enlighten you on the fascinating world of internships. She looks so sad about it, though. I want to help her. there's anything I can help you with, unless you already have, and I've forgotten. In which case, I probably won't forget a second time. I like you, Anna. You're a good egg. Stab a capitalist if you see one. Anyway, let's look around and... Oh, that's... All stealing. Did you see those fucking guys with the things in their necks? Is what I was going to ask. I can't pick that. Can I use this? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, inventory reports. Current inventory. Garden Auto Mechanicals. Amounts 23 or so. Set it speed up. Bring the stingers and dying. Should probably keep them separate. Mock apples and purple berries. A heck of a lot. Hard to count. Do we really got a number every single fruit? We've got more than enough. Item. Mosquitoes. Couple hundred eyes. Status. Real grumpy. Notes. Don't get stung by these. Item. Spectrum vodka. All colors. One left. One shipment to the hard to say puzzle hedges. One to the nut hut. Swing by the nut hut with some of my savings later today. Been a long week. Groundskeeper note. <sighs> uh, my voice hurts. I don't want to read all this, but the purple berries are growing a heck of a lot faster than the auto mechanicals can pick them. I should be mighty perturbed by what we're wasting, but since I had that treatment. A treatment. All I felt is glad about things. Goodness, this promotion sure was a life changer. Speaking of, Rudy, I have a feeling you're reading this. Caught a couple of times. Caught you a couple of times peering at me from behind hedges and like. How about you swing by my shack and we bury the hatchet? I'm a changed man since we recommended me for this promotion. Got a bottle of Spectrum vodka we can share and a chapter of the brand new Halcyon Helen cereal. Knew you never liked that. I got advanced copies. Come on by, Jacob. Yabra, I must admit that when your old supervisor described you as a misanthropic, law damned redacted, I did not expect you would ever acclimate, acclimate to a position so many others have loathed. Productivity is an all-time high, and what's more, you've not only impressed many visitors with your wonderful attitudes, but you somehow seem to get along well with the Wasquitos, or at least they haven't killed you yet. I would like to offer you an unprecedented reward, a one-time 15-minute break. <laughs> Jesus! You're <laughs> taking the your discretion. Well done. A stuttering trip hazard Hathaway. To Jay Yarborough. Subject, hypotheticals. So, Jacob, got a quick hypothetical. It's a rhetorical question. I said hypothetical because that's what the fucking thing is called. Get your story straight, Huntmaster Carlos. Let's say, rhetorically, that one of the Wilderness Exploration Reserve Keepers got drunk and thought he'd indulge himself in some after-hours hunting. Let's say he theoretically released our primals, and those primals theoretically proceeded to beat him to death with his own rifle, then escaped to the orchards. Obviously, I'm just waiting for the sake of wor worrying for the sake of worrying, but if something like that were to happen, and I'm not saying it did, especially since that such a screw-up would cost me my job. Theoretically, Rizzo's may have tested some of their products on these primals, and these primals may have acquired a taste for Rizzo's booze. Booze that I know you have stocked in the orchards. Look, if you see any way with primals, and I'm not saying you will, please, for the love of the law, send me a message. Well, there we go. Really hope we don't have to read much more, because my voice don't think I can take it, and my stutter is bad today. Uh, right. I really, uh, really. Pipeline discrepancy detected nearby. Ooh. Where are you, you bastard? Probably more Halcyon Helen footprints. Oh, wait, no, I see it. I mean, a lot of ammo here. 
Paranoid. I know, I know, I know. Paranoid. It's there. Give me a sec. Ooh, what you find? I mean, take all that. That's all good. Um. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. I did it all by myself. Where were you, Carter Reynolds? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Hold on. May I see it over there? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. No, okay. Is it on the roof? No. Is that? No. So it says it. No, oh, wait, no, there it is. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Cool. You. Hey, God. What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you my ex wife? No, she fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago. Conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. You must be the new uh, groundskeeper? Sounds a bit like uh, mm, Professor Farnsworth, like doesn't he? Either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Good Just news, everyone. My wife died. Uh, you were right the first time. I've returned from beyond the grave to react to... <laughs> I have a stutter. It trips me up sometimes. It is hard to read sometimes. <clears throat> you were right the first time. I've returned from beyond the grave to exact my revenge. Very funny. If you were Edna, you would have stabbed me in the throat halfway through the second word of my first question. Oh, this poor fellow's lost his wits. <laughs> I'm getting old, damn it. And after a while, anything that isn't a plant gets hard to distinguish from anything that is. But, no. You don't look like it, though. Compliment or no compliment? Though you do smell a bit like her. Okay, like don't smell me. And starship breeze. You must be that freelance inspector. Well, I suppose you can poke around as you like. Bleeding hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff he gets bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as Who I is, think. Carter? Who is? Uh, has and Helen come through here? Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, I would have had a harsh word for her. I heard she pushed her okay. way into a tour of the RR and DD labs not soon after. She's just a serial actress, yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again. Ooh. Which is a shame, of course. I don't trust you, Carter Reynolds. Where were you on the night Halcyon Helen was murdered? Not a question I can ask. But I got some things in chat appeared. Uh, Shank New says, "I see you having fun. Compliment of the season. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's doing. It's a murder. It's like a murder mystery in space. It's. Uh, I'm nowhere near closer to solving it. And frankly, at the moment, I will not rest until I figure out what's going on with the stuff in people. I don't know if you were around earlier on. There are some people with some like little parasites in their necks that make them deliriously happy, which." The murder mystery is on hold until I can figure out what the fuck is going on there. But, uh, you're a botanist, right? What do you do for Rizzo's? I sit inside, and I look at plants. <laughs> Goal is usually to make Rizzo's fruit products hardier and sweeter, but for every success, there are a couple of hundred failures. Example, try breeding native tripicale with a foreign strain. Would have called it Hextacale. That's... In the end, it bred... Not a so good name. Fast. Workers were swallowed up before they could harvest it. That one, I think, can be attributed to the waspitos. Some lament their irritability, but their productivity is unmatched. What's a few dead workers in the architect's designs? I mean... 
I don't like how these people are so flippant about how many dead workers they create. Like, everyone's been like, oh, lol, lol, lol. His kidneys failed. La, 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 la. It's because they were being stabbed in the kidneys. What fun. What japes. People are dead. Sort your shit out. Wesky does those, those angry flying bugs, right? You say angry. I say efficient. Not only can our wasp kiddos defend themselves, <clears throat> but Rizzo's investments as well. They come through the orchards only during pollinization cycles, as dictated by our hive control operators. Which means that visitors usually aren't on the receiving ends of their stingers. Usually. I've got an engineering thing, but if something goes wrong in hive control, the wasp kiddos could get out. Well, yes, if there's an equipment malfunction. The pollinization cycle will have to be manually shut down. Which means traveling to hive control while the wasp kiddos swarm. That seems like a bad design, honestly. Um, well, goodbye. I don't trust you. Oh, there's another thing. But I think it's the same thing we already knew about. So I think we can go through here. Kind of follow the footsteps. There's another one. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Another one over there. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging Thank you, to the deceased actress known Couldn't as Halcyon Helen. Couldn't without you. I'll take this ammo as my reward. Uh, right. Kind of following the footsteps while also trying to do this, uh, this, uh, quest that we've got. Got a lot of stuff here. Dead saplings. Let's look at the dead saplings, because they're, they're part of this. It's all kind of in the same area, so let's... Oh, we have... I can take a hint. A red thing over here. Discrepancy detected nearby. Shut up, robot. I'm trying to sneak. What are they? Oh, they're more of these effusive hosts. Let's. Oh. Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning, use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. So we found the murder weapon of these saplings. Um, Robert, where are these canisters usually kept? These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the purpleberry orchards. Except for this one, which can be found here. Cool, awesome. Initiate deeper... Chemical analysis. Don't think you can do this, but... Chemical makeup of substance. 50% <clears throat> water. 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Oh, so there's woolly cow poop in there as well. Go for something, chat. Just like a movie. It's... I don't know if it is or not. It's, like... Very dialogue heavy, but... Do, do I only play Outer Worlds? Uh, no, I don't. I usually... I just finished Bloodborne a little while ago, um, before that I did Dark Souls, I've done Skyrim, and a bunch of other stuff. I just kind of, at the moment, Saturday is my Outer Worlds day. Well, I can't learn more from there. Oh, maybe don't stand up. <laughs> oh, I think they... Let's see if we can get a sneak attack on these guys. Oh. Ah, I got fucked! I'll show you happiness, motherfucker! Ah, shit! So it's a fight you want. It's a fight you'll get! Ugh. Come on. Blocked. Ah, ha, ha. I'm coming, guys. Sorry, I got distracted with a sword fight. I 
these things are... Do not use this jelly to make a sandwich. In fact, do not use this jelly at all. <clears throat> so that seems like the thing that's giving them... Um, putting the parasites in their head. <clears throat> Oh shit. Well, god damn it. Hold on. Swap that for you know what? I'm gonna break you down. Break you down. No, I never use a sniper rifle, so I'm gonna Do I just get rid of all the rifles, honestly? I don't use them. I'm kind of only keeping the vermin around because that looks cool and it might be interesting to use as a weapon. Anyway, let's put our electric gun. Die! Oh shit, oh god, this became a problem. Shit. We're still in this though. We're still in this. Do I have my Let's... I don't have my Should I get my electricity bat up? Uh... The pipes are broken! Damn. All right. That was that was intense. And this is a thing with um. There's like a thing with the outer world combat. It's like you've got to have the right weapon equipped for the right type of enemies, and the type of enemies you deal with change on a enemy by enemy basis. So you're constantly swapping stuff around, <clears throat> which I don't mind. It's just kind of annoying sometimes. Well, we stopped the auto mechanicals, I guess. Sorry, we smashed them all to bits. Oh. Well, it feels like. Ooh, this feels like a. <laughs> I haven't been sent here by a job yet, so I'm gonna leave that for a while. Though, when am I gonna be back here? Let's look through it. Do a manual save first, because it's been a while since we've done one. I should be making separate saves, because this is something I've never done before, so I don't know if there's any glitches or anything I need to worry about. Uh, that means Outer Worlds is one of your favourite game, or your favourite... Eh, it's, it's a fine game. Not my favourite, necessarily, but it's good. I'm enjoying it. Use my regular pistol because it seems like a job for bullets. God, they can tank. They can take a beating, can't they? Um, let's swap to. We need a creature killer. Oh shit! What's ah? Not today, friendo. Everyone all right? We found the hive. Don't know if I've got any stuff that can. You know, I'm probably going to break this armor down, honestly. Because uh, I'm never going to use the heavy stuff. I don't use heavy armor. I'm a light weapons person. And 
Enduring God. I think we decided we didn't want that. Um, do some repairs on our gear. Can you see, robot? Talk to me. Oh, there's a fried console. Or maybe not. There's another one where I've got to go up. Oh, hold on. I don't much care for these pixel hunts, robot. Can you, uh... Can you give me the gist of it? Because like his little ears pop up here, uh, but it goes away again. I think it's outside of the field, you know. So it pricks up about maybe not. Oh wait, no, there it is. I think it's in there somehow. I've got to unseal that door or go above the. The thing. See, last time it did this, I had to go. Oh, there we go. I do some like platforming to get up there. <clears throat> no, I think it's inside there. I've got to unseal that somehow. Well, that was a fun diversion. honestly don't know what to expect, you know, like, would you like to feature on a blog post about content creator? What are you looking at in this sort of a blog post about the Outer Worlds as the content creator since you stream the game and an admin of Shack News and we have at least 6,000 active subscribers. And, uh, I mean... On the stream, maybe not the best time to talk to me about this, but DM me about it, I'm interested. Because I am hungry for more writing work. We found the processing plant. We should probably be sneaking, I think. Yep. I figured it would be. This console is ninety five percent non functional. Remaining five percent functionality stems from hmm. display reading console non functional. Cause of short out is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. They threw purple berry stuff on the um <sighs> Let's not taste it. Let's perform a chemical analysis. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, and artificial sweeteners. Number 35. Number 49. Number <laughs> Imagine all the sweeteners are artificial. Number 314. And many, many, many others. Uh, inspect the console. What's there? Looks like several of the electrical panels were removed, then fastened back into place. So they, like, opened it up, poured purple berry stuff in there, and then shorted it out. You know you're liable to get sick doing that. It's super sugary, with a sweet tang of purple berry, and a bunch of other tropical, tropical flavors all mixed together. It meshes well with the faint flavor of oil. Well, now. Isn't that interesting? I... I'm going to clear this area, make sure there's nothing here that's going to try and kill me. Ooh. Hello, free loot. Because I need to pee quite badly. Yep, I need to pee quite badly. Here is quite safe, a safe place for me to hide for a minute. Nothing's going to come in here, I hope. 
If there is, you have to let me know. You have to tell me. That's the law. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Good lord, I need to pee. <laughs> I'm going to open this up while I'm here. Because I'm standing up. I may as well get this box open. So I have more beer for when I come back. I'm back sure. Oh, I'll leave a, leave a message in the chat so people know that I'm... Uh, do, 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 do. Be back in a moment. I was touch and go there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, your whisper is blocked. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming whisper is the like DMs on Twitch, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Just throw uh, DM me on Twitter, probably. Um, at Galitha Matt, uh, G A W L A T H A underscore Matt. Same one as uh, as my stream name. Ugh. I have an email address, but I can't remember it at the moment. But I will move it to there if we need if it becomes a professional job that you're offering me. Ah, anyway, right back to Outer Worlds. I don't know what weapon I need to have equipped because I need this at all times. Uh, I need at least one melee weapon. Doesn't leave me with a great deal of options. Let's stick with the people killer for the moment. And why it's pointing me to DeWitt Hathaway? Let's look at what the journal says. Um, you must get all three sites and found evidence of negligence. Return to overseeing Orchidus and let him know his suspicions were justified. Someone was sabotaging it then. Is there anything else that I can use this for? Hmm. Hmm. So that doesn't. 
let's go back and do this one. Travel, might as well. Whoa, that's a jump. I just went from. Uh, I nearly said purple berry. Now they went from plum porter to old speckled hen, and that's a jump to. <laughs> jump in quality there. A substantial dip, I should say. Do it! Good news! Oh shit, not the gun. I'm not pointing a gun at you. You're back, I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. I think it's more of a wonder. Oh my god, shut up. I don't give a shit. Um I've completed my investigation. Alright. Let's hear the details. A drink was spilled over the processing console, shorting it out. A drink? I ain't never heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. Yep. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? How many times do I learn this lesson, old man? Problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Uh, herbicide. An herbicide. I don't think that's grammatically correct. Was mixed in with the fertilizer, which ended up killing the saplings. Ha! New slug was behind the damn saplings. I didn't say who did it. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. And I took care of the roaming exterminator my autumn you candles. Have a few of them intact, even. Smashed more than I'd like, but I guess I'm glad you didn't obliterate them all. Never did like leaving a job half finished myself, but that's me. So what were the fine details of the sabotage, anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspquitos? I mean, I guess they were really just trying to kill everything. You were that slug is trying to mess with your livelihood? Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollenizers? They'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually. But if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the waspquitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. Is there a way to manually initiate a pollinization cycles? Uh, it seems like a stretch, Hathaway. I mean, a slug agent could have initiated hive control with the intent to initiate a pollinization cycle and, and, and stop it just as quickly. Maybe they were just gonna do it later. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? The smiley guys, maybe? Uh, oh, fuck. Okay, maybe. You picked a hell of a time to lose your tongue over there, friend. I guess I can't force you to tell me anything. But the peace of mind... It, it's the smiley what, smiley people. Right now, we of the orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, what the hell. The orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal. But at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is agitating. Results will have bits to spare. <laughs> I'm rip your tongues out. I, I'm tempted. Uh, Results will have bits to spare for the brown unveiling. Could pay then, with interest. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Hmm. Never like paying bits if I ain't gotta, but you're right. If we get production finished now, we'll be able to pay later. Thoughts, slug boy? I think that's the first interesting suggestion I've heard since our back and forth began. Slug can wait for an increase in costs. I hope we won't have this conversation again.
Uh, yeah, let me actually, I am going to quickly look into my, bear with me one moment, because I have my, my email address is like, I don't want to give out my personal one, but I have a professional email address somewhere in my bookmarks, but I can, I can never remember it. Um, hold on, show... Bookmarks bar. Where are my book? Where the my bookmarks move every single time I open up a. Uh, where are you? All bookmarks. Open side panel. Search email. Well, shit on a midshipman's biscuit. Where's my? Arg! I had this. Where is it? Uh, uh, annoying. I'm never going to remember to do the email later as a thing. I'll sort this out later. Um, no one tells you how much of the job is waiting for. Action. I can never find it. I can never find my email address. It's it's. I think it's Matt at MattHollandAuthor.com, but don't quote me on that. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue this journal into madness. All signs kind of point to the conservatory. Let's, uh... Head there. But I really want to get these, like, parasites out of people's heads. <laughs> oh, what's this? That's that way, okay. I don't know what stuff I'm going to find there. So that is there. Oh, clues nearby. I can never fucking see these though, is the thing. Oh, wait, no, there we go. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints. No, we went through here already. Then we had these, and then those. Let's just follow the footprint to see what, where we end up. Oh, there's another set over there. Timeline discrepancy. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. What's this? Ooh, ooh, uh, oh. I'll have a slice of that. Um, see, these like Mark Three weapons are good. Once I can like smith them up to something good, like. Well, I'm not going to. Oh wait, no, it's a one-handed one. Stitch that. <clears throat> and the shotgun. Why have I got a shotgun? And a two-handed one. Wait, no, hold on. It seems like she's found by a lot of dead bodies. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's another set over there. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's another one. Timeline discrepancy. Oh, are you a nearby. problem? <laughs> Shit, no, th th there's some problems. Ah. Uh. Shit, right, ah, shit, no, I just went to... I just did Spider-Man controls instead of the... Leave my friends alone. Whoa, I'm fucking... Something stuck there. Fuck you! Wow. 
Wow, I'm fucking getting slowed down by something. Oh, I hate them so much. Wow, she's like covered in those things. Die! Like, Oof, <laughs> that was rough. Just genuinely didn't see those guys hanging out over there. I didn't realize like how like they're covered in fucking little passengers. I hate I hate them. I like just badly want to like end this entire fucking situation. I think more than I wanted to solve the Halcyon Helen murder, if such a thing is possible. Well done, there's a blue thing. It's cool, there's a blue thing in all this purple. Oh no, here we go. Are you... Are you a friend, or... I think they're, they're like... Oh, hold on. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Well, I'll go in here first. I'm going to see what's... There we go. Uh, user logs. Anna Summers was the last one to use it. Ugh. Prime meals failed in Valentine. Because you can't spell. Uh, okay. So she tried to get to target Sprats. That didn't work. Work with me here. Then she tried to go through the primals. She spelled them both wrong. Expert has deleted, deleted this thing. I'll figure this out later. No target priority set in 10 minutes. So she was the one who started all the auto mechanical things going wrong. Um, so much. Please no searching for... Five bits from the current user's wages. Press abort as soon as you read the prior sentence to cancel the search. I'm subtracting five bits from someone's wages, not mine, so fuck them. Uh, I always dreamed of living on Eridanos, but the science types always said it was impossible. The gravity will crush your bones. There's no breathable, breathable atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's why I've got this new groundskeeper position, and they're stuck on Terra 2. <sighs> when the execs are looking to promote somebody, they don't look at the doubters. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. This whole place is automated. Not only do I get a promotion, fucking hell. Ah. Oh. I also get to work less. All I need to do is make my way to the hive every so often to set the pollinization cycles. Aside from that, they just help keeping the local sprats from eating all the purple berries. Entry. Hate this place. <laughs> Well, Sandra bit the big one. Company policy says, due to our marriage contract, I've got to take her position now. Something about discouraging workers from dying on the job, so here I am. <sighs> Seeing her body once they got the mosquitoes to stop stinging, it ain't been great for my entomophobia. It fucking loves to put stutter trap words <laughs> all over the place, doesn't it? Thinking maybe I grab a few spectrums and find somewhere to hole up until the execs think I've left or died or something. Thought about the purple berry puzzle hedges, see? Trutter, st trutter stap words, I tried to say then. Fucking hell. But I've seen a lot of people go in, and not a lot of people come out. No clue what might be lurking in there. Wish I'd stayed on Terra 2. P. Cullen. Some jerk. Strange day today. Left the shack only to find a fellow I'd never seen before standing out front. Had his hands deep in his pockets and was looking at me with an odd, hungry kind of expression. Said he either was a slug or worked for one, which caused me no amount of confusion. Didn't have time to ask for clarification before he immediately started asking me for donation to keep the orchards running. First time I'd seen a con man try to convince a shopkeep that he's actually the one minding the store. Hardly need saying, but I took my claw rake and chased him off. Here's hoping I don't hear from that loon ever again. Okay, someone was trying to extort these people, and... 
Open left entry. <laughs> Got a call from my boss telling me I was up for promotion. Fucker always hated me, so I knew there was a catch. I was right. This new job makes me miss the law forsaken Nana Peeler Picker line. I never signed up to deal with gigantic swarms of killer insects. This place is a bad joke, and it ain't all that well told. Now the execs are telling me I've got to come in for some kind of medical treatment. Reckon it'd be safer to take a dive off the side of this floating planetoid. Won't be anything good, whatever's waiting for me. And that's Jacob, the creepy guy. So they're putting... They're putting those things... Rizzo's are putting the little passengers in people's heads. Ugh. We've done all that. I believe the last set of footprints were pointing me in this direction. Good lord, are they hard to see, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Like I said, gross noise is going to happen. There we go. Well, I did see those blue little swells up ahead. Where they be now? I can't see it. Is it that one? Because we got drunk primals over there. Let's get my my creature killer up. See if we can kill him. Ah! Ah, die, you bastard! Oh shit, he's moved. The only problem with this gun, it's really good, but it doesn't have many shots in before you need to reload. Whew, that was a rough one. We only got fucking expletive deleted right there. I believe... Yeah, I saw this. It was here. There we go. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. And the next set is over here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. There's always a body nearby. There's definitely something going on here. The deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. But I will take all of your booze, thank you. And up here. Oh, there's a... See if we can. He's better off this way, poor bastard. Uh... Right. Oh. Ooh. Hey. We got a level up. How about that? Um. What do I think we need here? You know what? I feel like medicine, just to get those parasites out of people's necks, is going to be good. Let me... Uh, hold on. Only want five. Uh, let's put two in handguns and... Hmm. Three points to distribute somewhere. Excuse me. Uh, you know, I'm going to put it all in medicine. No, actually, no, that's a bad idea. Um, well, we can get both lockpick and stealth up with three, so let's do that. We get a perk. What do we want? Science weapon damage. Your next attack after killing an enemy is a guaranteed critical hit. That could be good. Carry capacity. 
That's good. These seem new. Okay, uh... While having no companions in the party, but still having some back on the ship, gave him a bonus to... Okay. What do we want here? Uh... Headshot still more damage. I like this! Although... Uh, these are all... Increase my movement speed during tactical time dilation. Uh... I mean, I can boost my sprint speed, but that's kind of a vanity stat at this point. Uh, I mean, just generally getting tactical time dilation back is good. I like that. There we go. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. There we go. Oh. Shaft of a tusk ball stick is bent and cracked, exceeding the tusk ball regulation requirements. The end of the tusk ball stick is matted with something. Couldn't read that. Is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. Ah. Mm. Not a two-handed melee weapon guy. Uh, examine the end of the sick. <laughs> Maybe it's some kind of upper-class mating ritual. The only members of a top ball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Bertie. Black Hole Bertie Whatever was... Tell him he must have relayed to the top ball hacker during their picnic together, instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. That's how breakups go some of the time. Or all of the time, for some of us. I was about to explain that, robot. Yeah, Black Hole Bertie was um, Ruth Bellamy, a.k.a. Halcyon Helen's uh, former lover. And it looks like they got broke They broke up, and he did not take it well. There's a keycard for the Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs. If you are reading this, warning anywhere other than the those labs, please return it to those labs for a... Uh, Moderate extreme pay deduction and a mild reduction of working fingers. Fuck you, I'm taking it. Ooh, Spectrum Vodka Black. Hello. I am 1000% gonna drink the fuck out of that. Because once again, my stats have gone down, so I need to fucking take that, don't I? I am beginning to regret becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> that seems like a bad move. What's this? Uh, Nanospank and Retro Rockets. I'm not going to take that. So where's this leading me to now? The Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs. It's easier to say than RR and DD. Let's... I mean, I'm just fucking taking all the booze that I can because they, my alcohol thing runs down scarily quickly. Oh shit! 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 No, I didn't want that. Shit, that was like 20 fucking mock apples. Why would I want that many fucking... I mean, I've got them now. It's happened. I just didn't want to steal them as well. I didn't realise they had the little red do not steal icon attached to them. Once again, sorry for the snorting and stuff. I am recovering from a cold and my nose is now deciding to just gush out all the fucking gunk it can find. Oh, hello, Orchard's Worker. 
Administrator Ludovico can seem intimidating, but he's a decent fellow. Oh, he's got a thing on his neck, though. I'll take the armor and weapon parts while I'm here. <laughs> We're all family here. Rizzo's takes care of its own. I bet they do. Fucking little passenger ass motherfuckers. Ugh, I am not reading all this. Nearly 100% meal, meal grub free pet. See, that took almost the time it took most people to read the entire thing for me to get to that one fucking sentence. Almost 100% meal grub free purple berry liqueur. Hmm. Something small and back, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to fuck this up on purpose. I just like sometimes I read. I sometimes my brain registers a word and my mouth says a different one. It's a problem. Something small and black began to wriggle amongst the gore. That was hard to say. That was so fucking hard to say. It's like every one of these things I've got to read out has a stutter trip, right? Like in there somewhere. I was like, small and back began. I was about to say then, but... Yeah. So yeah. This was apparently... in the, like... in like the Halcyon Helen Law, there was like, stuff burrowing in people's brains. I'll steal... I'm gonna say I'll steal the Adrenal, but I drew a gun instead. It's fine. What else is here? I'm taking all the adrenal I can get because I need to burn through so much of it to keep up with my fucking horrible metabolism that I inflicted upon myself for that one fucking... See, it's gone down again. Oh shit! Ah, what's this? Ah, you're, a, you're not a friend. You're not a friend. You're not a friend at all. God, they can tank some hits, can't they? I mean, I should swap to the other gun, but... Hold on. We've got a sword fight coming. Come on, motherfucker, let's go. Blocked. I'm coming. Oh, nice work, Pavati. Fucking. Oh shit. You okay? <laughs> come on, back. Come back to me. Oof. She was. She was kicking the shit out of that guy there. To be fair, he got a lucky hit in and killed her off. I'm gonna um I'm gonna burn through some of my armor because I don't use the heavy armor. See, this is just the best light suit of armor in the game. It's as protective as some of the like heavier stuff. Plus, it has some good dialogue skills, and I can still move move in it. Oh, this feels, uh, feels like we're getting somewhere. Let's see if there's anything out here. 
See, the fact that all this, like, the idea of, like, parasites infecting people... Oh, I don't like that I've got a parasite in there. Um, uh, parasites infecting people happens within Halcyon Helen's law like that does kind of lead me to believe that this kind of lends credence to some of my theory that this is all a stunt by Rizzo's <coughs> <coughs> to like to like uh, get some publicity for the Rizzo's brown that they're unleashing on everybody Oh. Whew, I'm going to blow my nose real quick because it needs to happen. Now bear with me a moment. <clears throat> oh. Oh, yeah, I was like, I'm like over the cold parts at the moment. It's so just still a bit stuffed up. Burbage 3001 is programmed with a variety of acting techniques, including classical method and another one that would have been funny if I had a chance to read it. Okay, here we are. We've got a dungeon crawl coming. Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacity, please locate the test room the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Hmm. Let's not do that, because I don't want one of those parasites inside my brain. That's where I do all my thinking. That's where all my brain stuff lives. Ooh, Balta Pistol 3.0. And again, I can't get to a, um, holy shit, holy shit, get out of my dreams and into my fucking car, holy goddamn shit, right, away with you, it's just, what it's got, I can't ditch that for the parts though, because it's got all my, uh, that's two-handed, it's got all my fucking, like, uh, Gun mods on. Can't ditch that too, because I'll keep the Mark Three stuff, because that's all. Uh, you know what? I'm probably never going to use supper time again. I think that's too. Uh, that's I've leveled past that. Let's keep it for for the moment. I'm not hurting for like um. I'm not hurting for carry weight at the moment. Um, can't quite hack it. Hello! I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to get your name yet and update the terminal. When you have a moment, could you bring him up to the lobby? Dr. Blossom seems to have had a rather rough night and spilled some coffee on the floor. Thank you. Aha! <clears throat> From Dr. Blossom, what in the architect's blue blazes is going on? What in blessed corporate law is all the commotion down there? I don't believe the rocket fuel combination distillery mixture was scheduled for another week. Could someone please inform me as to what the racket is all about? You better have a damn good reason for interrupting my meeting with the administrator. I expect a full explanation and apology within the next 15 minutes or people are going to start losing jobs. So she spilled something. Ah, uh, I can't quite get... can't quite hack into it. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna go to this vending machine and pick some stuff out. I need all the Adreno you can get. Um, I'm also gonna need bows, bows foot baby, and I guess. They don't sell ammunition. Do you sell ammo? I mean, I think I'm okay for ammunition, honestly. I think I'm doing alright. I mean... 
might as well. Uh, anything else? Let me just. That's fine. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you will. <clears throat> Surprise inspection. Not quite a good enough liar for that. I'm investigating Halcyon Helen's murder. Was she here recently? Where you were you? know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character yeah. portrayed by the late actress, yeah. Ruth That's what Bellamy. I've been saying. One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -day. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant hmm. you clearance enough to answer your murder-related questions, Ms. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a recent experiment gone awry. Hence why I've barricaded myself in the lab. Is that those little passengers, isn't it? Can make a run for it. There isn't anything you can do to help. I mean, I want to help. Hair out though. I don't want to use my persuasion, my mighty powers of persuasion, to make her give me stuff without doing a quest for her first. Um, what goes on in these labs that would turn your researchers against you? Oh no, they're quite unaware of their actions. Little passengers. We were a research and development branch of Rizzo's, focused primarily on the Spectrum vodka line. But the specific research that goes on in this facility is utterly confidential. You understand. I'll find out when I hunt to the labs. You might as well tell me up front. Yeah. So you've no qualms about snooping through my precious research files. But will you understand the data once you've acquired it? Essentially, we research new innovations for an array of Rizzo's products. My present troubles stem from one we've just developed. The product's potential for profit is nearly limitless. But I'm afraid explaining the science behind it would far exceed your capability for understanding... I've got a 60 in science. I know what I'm doing. Oh, Ellie! Yeah, any thoughts on what it could be? If it's causing sudden aggressive behavior in lab technicians, there must be a fast-acting neurological agent of some kind. I've underestimated you. Yes, That's why I brought the doctor with me. Of several organisms attaching to a subject. Quite unnerving. Yeah! Stop fucking sticking worms in people's necks. You can make a run for it. Yeah. No, I'm going to use my mighty P.O.P. to... Hmm. Yes. I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Oh, I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Okay, that's helpful. Um, I can take care of your problem, but I'll need you to answer some questions afterwards. Excellent. You have my gratitude, and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's Right. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Okay. These people don't deserve to die, Captain. Let's try using the sedative. No, I'm with you. Let's do that. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. So I need to... Uh, utility terminal. Let's use that. That's sealed, so we can't go in there. Oh, god damn, that's a lot of words. Um, <clears throat> only way I was through. Before Rizzo's with the confectioner. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Before Rizzo's was the confectionery juggernaut you know and love today, it was an above-average chemical waste management corporation. On one otherwise unremarkable day, an employee on the slurry staring shift leaned a little too hard far over a chemical vat, dropping a single purple berry that had been hidden in his jacket pocket. 
I don't know if it's like intentionally badly written. Cause it just feels like when I write something, I read it to myself, like read like out loud to myself. If I catch these stutter moments, I change the sentence in some way because it's that's a sign that the sentence doesn't flow correctly. You know, they like. That's why I'm hot swapping words around, because, like, I feel like that's a better word for what, than what they put in there. But I think they're doing this on purpose. I think it's, like, it's it's corporate propaganda, so it is kind of badly written. Not too far of a chemical vat. Uh, instead of being immediately fired for his hazardous incompetence, the employee was given an ultimatum by his supervisor, retrieve the fallen fruit and stay employed. It's like a lot of those, like, alliteration and, like, the way the words flow together, just, they just don't, they're jarringly put together. The employee jumped into the vat, swam for the purple berry, and accidentally swallowed it. The rest is history. After he was pulled from the toxic waters, the starer stated, alliteration, that the chemical-coated purple berry, alliteration, hadn't been half bad. <coughs> Before falling into a toxic coma, giving his supervisor the idea to sterilize and adjust the chemical mixture for human consumption. Soon, the sour, sweet coated purple berries were more or less edible, becoming Rizzo's first mass marketed product, the Purple Berry Bunch. Fucking hell, was that an ordeal! That needed a pass from an editor. Jesus. Not worth it, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I like I like my guns that I've got at the moment though, but let's look at this. And that is seven seventy. Does more damage than the stuff I have at the moment, but I like my I like my Mal Reynolds guns. That Ugh. This is your friendly custodial staff offering a preemptive apology if the elevator hall is crowded with gas canisters. There are quite a few of them and only one of me, so I'm moving them in loads down to the utility room. Do be cautious. They're filled with sedative potent enough to put a hungry mama raptor down out cold. Thank you for your understanding. That was better written than the corporate, like, jargon. Like, that seems natural. That's like natural dialogue. Uh... Dear esteemed colleagues, my team and I are all heading to the Grand Colonial's bar this evening for some drinking and fellowship. All real scientists are welcome to join us. You know, the ones that produce quantifiable data and theorems and don't spend their time jabbering over how this lighting on that bottle will increase customer sentiment. Cheers from some who understands that market researchers aren't real scientists. Ooh, fucking shots fired. Team. As we continue our new round of research and product development, I am increasing the required safety gear for lab workers involved. As some of you know, a few recent accidents involving subjects have left workers maimed, scarred, and one worker had their left hand permanently discoloured to a shade of lime green. Rizzo's Research and Development District Labs is expected to continuously produce revolutionary advancements in the food and beverage industry. These measures will help us in further pursuit of that mission. So there are gas canisters here. Ah, oh, god damn it. I need to get in there somehow. I really want to use I really want to sedate these people, but I think I'm gonna have to kill them because I can't see a way in. Nope, I can't see any way in there, so well then, let's talk to her again. Maybe the oh, we're missing something. Ah, you're still... Well then, can we make a run for it? My life's work. You want me to just burn my lab and my entire future to the ground over one experiment that's gotten rather out of hand? No, I think not. We merely <sighs> need to clean up the mess, so to speak. Reset the lab back to functional parameters. Even I think that's pretty cold, and I'm a mercenary. Staff can be replaced, you know. Research 
research data? Now that's Wow, you are a fucking asshole. As if I could go anywhere. Wait, hold on. I was gonna ask ah. you about It's causing. I've under ah, She's not going to tell me again, is she? Fuck. Really should have been paying attention to that. See, that's the. Uh, I'm just going to go down. Maybe I can. Um... Oh, God. Maybe I can sneak my way through. See, my sinuses are a mess 90% of the time. Cover recovering from a cold. I have like very little use of my mouth. If I open my mouth too wide, all the gunk comes gushing out my nose and it's quite distracting and difficult. There we go. This is where we need to be. But it's bad. Oh my god. Okay. Well... I would like to do this without killing anybody if I don't have to, but it feels like that's, that's like fucking guarded, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me. Well, that's barred from that side, isn't it? So I can't get in there. Can I go through? That's not a door. Can I kind of sneak my way through? I'm not good enough at sneaking to get there, is the thing. Like, I may have to kill some of them to save the rest, honestly. <laughs> it's not ideal. But I'll have to do. I mean, if they're at the mercy of those, like, little passenger guys, then they're better off without... They're better off dead, frankly. <laughs> Wait, is this the bathroom? No, I thought that was a toilet there. I am sorry for all the noises my mouth is making. I'm really trying hard to like not like snort and sputter on camera, but... I'll take the bit cartridges from you, though. This top hat once belonged to Captain Faison of Byzantium, last seen on Terror Monarch, standing much too close to the edge of a sulphur pit. This pungent accessory should serve as a reminder of the many terrible dangers found on Monarch, and a further example of why no self-respecting Halcyonite should ever visit. Well, nuts to you, we fucking visited it, didn't we? Ah, oh, that's, uh, oops. Can't get in there, can I? Shit, I want to shoot my way through those guys. <laughs> I'll try and sneak my way in and switch the sedative on, but I don't think that's going to be likely some of these motherfuckers are gonna have to die I'm afraid is there like another way in that I've missed so you know there's there's one of them there I might be able to sneak past him Listen, I am trying to... Mm. Sorry, Pavati, you guys started it. I did try not to kill him. But you, you fucking started that one, guys. So, like, here's the thing. You cannot get mad at me for killing anybody now, because you fucking started a fight with the guy we were trying to sneak past. <clears throat> oh, 
like this. Excuse me. Because I was trying to sneak then. You all saw it. I was sneaking my way in. They were the ones who started the fight. So we'll have no shit from Pavati over that. God damn it. I can't, uh... I have to kill my way through. I cannot see a way through this without, uh... I've 100% missed something, but I don't know what it was, so... Ah, oh, well. They're better off. Look, I will try not to kill them, but... I genuinely don't think it's likely, you know. Get in here, guys. Come on. You're gonna get start. Don't start another fight. Come on. Get in. There we go. I am trying so hard not to kill anybody. I am 100% going to have to, because I missed whatever it was that uh, starts the sedatives off. Fuck. Let's just sneak our way through. Oh, we're getting further and further away from what I want to reach, though. That's the problem. Maybe this... Lab notes. Fuck it. I, I want a button that unbars that door. Told Blossom we went crazy. Every single one of us began to have clinical insomnia. And she tells us because we drink too much coffee. Well, it is because of the coffee. Or more so, what's in the coffee. I had, a, had the janitor swap out the coffee grinds an hour later than usual this morning. And what do you know? I've been asleep all day. <laughs> Those jerks and product have been messing with our supply. Don't ask me how. I just know it. Okay. That kind of makes sense. But that rankles a bit on the ear. They think they're so smart because they know how molecules work. Well, they aren't the only ones that can create a chemical dependency. I've got a Pavlovian prank in place for the... Fucking hell with the... I'm glad my thing has a plosive fucking thing in front of it. For the Spectrum Brown presentation, that'll cause quite the show. Oh, so many messages. <laughs> These are important, though. We're thrilled to hear the news that Rizzo secured Halcyon Helen as a spokesperson for the new Spectrum product. Our data shows she has favourable dispositions in many key categories, including the coveted 18 to 34 regular regularly employed existential crisis demographic. We'd be happy to show her some of our product advertisement ideas. Stop immediately. So much reading. I don't enjoy the reading parts of this, you know, if it's that obvious. Because I feel like my stutter catches on so much of things. I haven't had time to, like, because normally when I read something, I've read it beforehand. So I at least know where the, like, problem spots are going to be. These I don't know at all. And my brain's hot swapping words around. I'm worried about dead air on the stream. My nose hurts. It's all important. Is the thing. <clears throat> I am sending this message to both teams in the marketing and product labs. I do not know the extent of your squabbles, but they end here. If it weren't for the incredible projection Spectrum Brown shows, we'd all be out of work after that embarrassment at the presentation. I expect more from both departments. That's marketing and product. She's mad at. What in Blue Blazers is going on? Yeah, I read that before. 
No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, they're all gonna die. Sorry, Pavati. We're going loud. I'm trying. I was trying to do it sneakily, but... This gets the job done. Fuck. Holy god. Oh my god. I'm stuck in a... Whoa. Come on. You saw me trying to sneak through. You all saw me trying to sneak through this, but there didn't seem to be... Ah, motherfucker. The annoying thing is we'll be switching the, like, sedatives on after everyone's dead, is the thing. Because that was everybody. We've killed everybody now. Fucking hell. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do this sneakily. I was trying so hard to not kill anybody. I 100% missed something that was upstairs. Because, like, look, there's the... There was definitely another passage down that I missed, that I just could not see. They were too far gone. The story that we will tell is that they were too far gone. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. We don't have fucking. So we're trying to get into, but we can't get in there. I hate that. I hate, like I hate the um, when you're given a stealth option, and it's like, oh, that's the stealth option's the good one. You gotta get good at stealth. Kind of locks you into because I've put nothing into stealth, so I very much could not do this. Because I just had to have the wrong character build for it. Let's unbar the door. Lab notes. Trial K08 has produced moderate results. The zero calorie sweetener produces 36% of the amount of dopamine compared to popular cigarette brands. It is possible that this is as far as we can go without introducing substances that would categorize this as a tobacco product, and we're already towing the line as is. I'm interested in a trial with a larger set of subjects. However, our lab's resources are getting cut thanks to the new lab that's begun across the hall. Maybe we can offer it to our colleagues, quotation marks, in the marketing lab, show them a thing or two of Regarding proper science. <laughs> I apologize, but I wouldn't be doing the team justice if I didn't question the budget cuts this lab has seen. We've had to shelve three products and we're losing two more researchers. Honestly, whatever's being developed in the lab across the hall better be more addictive than Adrena time. Hawking lab. I apologize for our team's outburst at the product presentation. I assure you we didn't intentionally mean to scream in terror and assume the fetal position when Spectrum Brown and its slogan were unveiled. It has to be something the marketing lab did. For Lord's sake, they aren't even real. I am beginning to think um, there's issues between marketing and product here. <laughs> I mean, it's probably obvious to everyone else who wasn't reading it aloud. I wasn't engaging my brain as it's going. It's kind of coming in and coming into my ear, coming into my eyes, and going in my mouth without hitting my brain at any point. <clears throat> so I'm trying to make this watchable. Uh, so yeah, they are causing issues. They, they like they are trying to sabotage it because they don't believe they're real scientists. I am sending this message to both teams in marketing product labs. I do not know the extent of your scrolls, but the end here, I've done read that before. And I've read that one before. It's very hard to read some of this stuff. I think it's mainly a me problem. And like the fact that I'm getting over a cold, so talking is hard. I'm making that much of the stuff and it still tastes bad. Come on. Mother. 
Fucker, it's right there. Okay, we can sneak, sneak, sneak. Come on, sneak, 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 sneak. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> I tried. I really did try. No one can say I didn't try. No one can say I didn't try. You know, I did my best. I even reached the fucking thing, didn't I? But we started combat like that, literally that second. Bitch! I was fucking there! I was right fucking there! Want to dispense the sedative gas on the stuff I've already killed. This, this is what I was worried about would happen. This is exactly what I was worried about would happen. Because, like, there's no way of getting there without starting a fight. I don't understand what they wanted me to do in that situation. God damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How to be a janitor. Please guess how to do your job to the best of your ability. Look, I'm look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. Right, what other, what, what was the route there? How, how do you get there without fighting? It's like the game's gonna be like, ah, oh, well, trigger happy murderer murdered her way into the, murdered her way into the fucking thing with murder. What a horrible murderer! It's like no, there is no physical way of getting there without. Fighting. It's like I don't understand what the game wanted me to do in that situation. <laughs> so there's, there's there's no way of getting there without without having a fight. I, mean, I don't feel too bad because they're all fucking infected anyway. So. It's just the way, ah, oh, so you found an alternative means of- Shut the fuck up! There was physically no other way of doing it. Don't get fucking sarcastic with me about it. Oh, that really rankles me, that. Because there is just no other way of getting there. It's not like- There's, like, no other way, and the only way in is through all of those people. And, yeah, I see it that, like, there's, like- you were supposed to like sneak your way through, but I'm not specced for sneaking. Like I never picked sneaking as a thing. Then it's like, oh, hoo, 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 I see you chose to murder. No, I did not choose that. I did not choose that. That was foisted upon me. Got 17 requests from the lab workers that I had. To... It's really annoyed me that <laughs> like it does. Because, like, the game is going to be all like, Ooh, you love to murder, don't you? You just love to kill innocent things. Johnny Murder McMurder Pants murdering his way through to the panel instead of just getting through the obviously signposted route that was very clear to everyone else but me. <clears throat> Got 17 requests. From so uh, That annoys me so much. Because I tried. I did try. You all saw me try. Like... That was also my problem with the uh, the sneaking your way around the raptodons and trying to get hook the, because like, the button that starts the raptodon nap poison is like right in, is like right in the middle of all the raptodons, so you're in the middle of a fight with them before you can even hit the console. I think for all I like about this game, it is fucking shit at stealth, like. There are better ways of doing stealth than the way it does it. And... I don't know. I don't know I'm, like... Thinking in terms of... Fallout New Vegas, which this team also developed. They would give you other options if you didn't have stealth. You'd have, like, a dialogue or a hacking option or... Something else that you could do to get in there. Opposed to just gunning everything down. I feel like a fucking thug now. That I've just like smashed my way into this. When I could have finessed my way through. And 
put everyone to sleep and kept them alive afterwards, which is my main fucking goal in the first place, which is what kind of inspired me to do this in the fucking first place. Really annoyed me. <laughs> it's got it under my skin really badly. Uh, anyway, I've gotten 17 requests from the lab workers and... So I've completed blank. Okay, gas hook up. Mix with a heavy sensor for dispersal in the lower labs. Luckily, I've got enough experience cleaning all the muck built up to get it all done in a couple of days. I'm just going to skim read this stuff because. <laughs> Look, I didn't put these fucking parasites in people's brains. I'm just trying to do the best I can. I don't have fucking Pavati peeping in my ear about keeping them alive, and it's like, why didn't you save them all? Like, fucking saw how fucking hard it was to get through. That was like a solid gauntlet of enemies. I don't know, like, how I was meant to do that, other than the way I did. Where's the elevator? Look, you did you did see me try every little doorway, didn't you? Like, it's not like I... Wait. Well, at least she's dead. Hurry, yeah, that's sealed, though, isn't it? I can't... How did you teleport over there so quickly? Just when we were gonna get some answers. We got our office key card. Oh my god, there's gonna be more reading, isn't there? Timeline discrepancy detected. Nearby. Thank you, Robert. Confirmation of discrepancy confirmed. This person is most definitely <laughs> dead. But recently they were still alive. Let's examine the body. Okay. Hardly minimal. This leads me to believe this is all a big theatrical thing, though, because the blood loss isn't as much as I would have thought. Puncture marks. It looks like she was injected with something. Okay. All four of these scientists without much resistance. What an awful place to die. What do you think happened to her? I don't think they did. I think they're unconscious. Five kills in and out before we catch a glimpse of the culprit. I'd expect more blood. There are lots of ways to kill someone without spilling blood. But I guess this isn't the time. I don't think these people are dead. I think they are... They are all alive still. They're just unconscious. <sighs> okay, what's this? I tried to fiddle with the internal silver, rub parts off, or connections broke, or failed to fire, or pieces stuck out of the casing and shorted out other components. So of course the solution was obvious. Get at least a little plastered prior to the work period, every work period, when I'm relaxed my hands don't shake, and it's so much easier to see where things should fit or how to bridge certain connections. The problem, of course, is that I also get artistic. Why should a weapon work on mechanics alone? Why shouldn't you have to say, slot one of every single fucking kind of spectrum vodka into the thing before it will fire for the first time? I don't even know if it's tied to the weapon's internals or if it's some kind of lock, but it seems like it should fire and absolutely will not. I have to get one of every kind of spectrum, including black. I can only hope the storage warehouse has had a kind of... has had a recent... Shipment of the entire spectrum, or all this work will have been for nothing. I have to be the dumbest genius this side of Halcyon. Lady, you're not the only one. And that's for. I get every type of spectrum vodka to unlock this, to get that, which is a two handed gun. I don't use two handed guns as well. Died at a similar time and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Not gonna. Oh, whoops. There it is. Okay. This is. 
This is Dr. Blossom. Eridanium Gigaseous Slug Research Report 1. Subject, a bunch of slugs. Ugh. These things next. may well be Rizzo's ticket to the top of the board. But at the end of the day, they still look like my brother would if he ever stopped wearing that damn toupee. Initially found these little bastards suckling on the hairy undersides of a teacup canid. Much like my brother, who works for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. The backstabber. Suffice it to say that these things are parasites. The canid didn't seem to mind, but it's almost as stupid as my research staff. Good stuff. Oh, what? Got some spectrum on the dissection subject. That's fine. Yeah, I think I see a couple sacks in the worm. Might secrete enzymes or poison or something. We'll figure it out later. Starting to see doubles, so I'm going to switch to working on the Gatling. Almost got the spectrum lock done. Hmm. So she found them on the underside of a canid who seemed really happy about it. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break again. It's fucking hell. Hmm. Right, uh... I am like still so annoyed at that, like the whole like there's an alternate like sneaky way of doing it. And Ooh. I mean I wouldn't mind so much if it wasn't for that like oh so you found an alternate means of fuck off. Like I'm gonna pay you back. We got time. I think what annoys me about that is that I'm still going on about this. It still annoyed me. Like, it was exactly what I thought would happen as well. 
As soon as they mentioned that there's a alternate, like, a sneaky way of doing it, I was like, this is gonna, I'm gonna kill everybody. In fact, I tried so fucking hard. I really did try to not kill anybody there. Right, let's, uh... I'll do some reading. Uh, view download confirmation. <laughs> oh my god, so much. Apologies for the late notice, but Miss Bell and me has requested a tour of the facilities while she is visiting Eridanos as Halcyon Helen. Please prepare for her arrival in the morning. My ears have gone. Let me just fix my headphones. You can tell. Uh, hold on, I need to make some noise. Monster kills all these people over a data card. Hey, whoa, whoa, where are you going? Oh, I thought that was. Let me. Uh... I haven't gone insane. I'm just trying. As I'm making noise, I'm trying to like. Maybe that's in both ears. It's really annoying. My uh, my headphones never work the way I want them to. Right. Note to self. Well, Leora, you did it again. At long last, you located a bottle of Spectrum Black hidden in a crevice of musty shelf space in the storage warehouse last night. That much closer to finally getting the Spectrum Gatling to work. And what happened? You got all the way back to the water tower before running into a group of primals. <sighs> Already diverting themselves with fruits of the fermented variety. Just say alcohol. Just say alcohol, okay? One bad blackout later and here you are, covered in primal vom vomit without the Spectrum Black. Get it together. And you can tell, like, those are long, long sentences that need to have a full stop in them. Fucking hell, did Marina Hyde write this? That's that one. File deleted. Arrgh. Not good enough hacker. Do I have anything that can, um... Maybe I have something that will... Bump my intelligence. It's, I'm eating the fucking rat that I made there. Come on, man. Uh, anything that will boost my intelligence. Uh, body attributes. <laughs> More body attributes. What I'm looking for is mental attributes. Uh, more body attributes. Movement speed. More body attributes. Fucking hell. Mind attributes. There we go. Fuck it. Arg! Still can't do it. Oh well. Well, fuck me, I guess, for trying to use consumables to help. <laughs> All right, let's put. Where? 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 Kind of wish this was easier to navigate. Which one of you is food? Which one of you is food? Which one of you is food? Let's put some of these on there. Oh, what's going on? Good thing is stuttering out of all stuttering worse than me reading a paragraph of information. Organic matter that comprises this lab worker died at a similar time 
and of similar circumstance as the other corpses already scanned. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go down here first. I mean, I feel like if we hung around here for long enough, those bodies would get back up again. I feel like we're going to go through here and something will happen. We'll come back. The bodies will be gone or something. It's got a funny feeling. Why do I have two? Why do I have two things? Timeline discrepancy. Okay. Body heat readings indicate that the culprit was just here, mere moments earlier in the timeline. Looks like they came, they look like they snuck in through the ventilation system. Okay. Looks like a standard ventilation shaft to me. Somebody around my size could have crawled in. Wouldn't have been comfortable or, you know, like clean. Ventilation shafts usually turn into sprat nests. Someone die hard at their way in here. Um, examine the fuse box. Someone cut a wire. Likely could have disrupted one of the circuits, perhaps on the door lock recognition system. See that red wire? Whoever cut that wire was trying to disrupt the circuit. They could have sealed the lab doors temporarily. At least until the fail safes kicked in. Hmm. So the person who did the job here, not necessarily the murder, because I still believe those people are going to get back up again, because if we mention there's very little blood loss, um, whoever did the job here was small in build and knew their way around electronics. Pavati, where were you the day Ruth Bellamy was killed? No, it's, uh, got to go back to Administrator Ludovico. Ooh, we can unlock this. I mean... Ooh, okay. Who ate my lunch? <laughs> Is a question that's plagued science since the dawn of mankind. Well, I think we have enough to open this now. Or not, as the case may be. Fair enough. Wait, am I just going to drink? No, I'm going to drink all the fucking quest items there. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, and indigo. Hmm. Let's get back to Ludovico. There's much here that we can do. This feels like a failure. I feel like we failed somehow here. I'm like, that wasn't... It, it, it does feel like a failure. I feel like we fucked up really badly there. I was really trying to avoid killing those people. Like, And it feels like now that I've denied it a bunch of times, it sounds like I wanted to, but I really didn't want to fight. I wanted to do the smart and humane thing, put them to sleep. And then we could have figured, figured out like how to fix them later on, you know? So it sounds like she found this... Oh, I figured as much. 
Wait, what's this? What is that sound? And why am I sure we're about oh, to Oh, come on. Out? Uh Incoming. Well, nine fucking hells. We gotta get over here. Run! Oh, fucking hell. It's behind a fucking laser thing. Rah! Oh, shit. Abort the pollinization thing. Oof. The last activity recorded exceeds this system's two week threshold and has since been purged. To H. Lawson. Uh, <laughs> Hilda. Generally, when two co workers get blasted out of their minds on Spectrum Vodka and one of them makes a joke about how wild it would be if someone put wasps and mosquitoes together, he doesn't wake up the next day with a promotion and a couple of hundred thousand rabbit insects on his back porch. I can appreciate a good joke as much as the next guy, but I got a message earlier today about making sure I increase quarterly yields, and it wasn't from you. If you wanted to, I don't know, bail me out sooner rather than later, I'd be most obliged. Morris. Bail me out. Hilda, I'll put it bluntly. This place is one bad key press away from total disaster. Earlier today, I accidentally selected the begin pollinization cycle function on this terminal. The cycle just activated. No password protection, no confirmation message, nothing. As it so happened, there was a scheduled tour making its way through the orchards at about that moment. Somehow that idiot groundskeeper's exterminator mechanicals got activated, giving the mosquitoes something to sting that wasn't a tour group. Those people barely got away with their lives, and I don't think we'll be so lucky next time. My supervisor has apparently scheduled me for some kind of standard medical treatment, but when I come back... Mm -hmm. Medical treatment. Little passenger in the neck. But when I come back, I better have a message from you apologizing for not responding to my messages and containing an immediate transfer to somewhere that isn't here. I've had enough. I reread my last message to you and I feel I owe you the deepest and most heartfelt of apologies. I have been such an entitled bore since I received this promotion. In reality, I should have been thanking you. To oversee the day-to-day -day coming and going of creatures as majestic as these wasquitos is a great honour. Congratulations on your promotion, by the way. I would have thought I'd be mad, especially considering how central my wasquitos were to your new position. But since that treatment, I found it difficult to stay mad about much of anything. Maybe I should get a fucking little passenger so I wouldn't be mad about killing all those people. <laughs> oh, god damn, my fucking nostrils. Roman something. Some vodka. There was a thing that said there was a discrepancy here. There we go. I can see it, so... It said there was a discrepancy here. And it's here, it's highlight. I can see the blue smoke. Is it here? I do not care for pixel hunts. They are annoying and I think it's on the roof. Look, guys, you can you can all see me trying, right? You can see me trying. It's on the roof, whatever it is. How do I get on the roof, though, is the thing. Last time there were some boxes stacked up that let me get up there. This time, though, I'm... I hate the fact that I know it's there, 
I know it's an important, it's, it's a clue, and all the clues are going to help me solve the mystery. I know it's there. The game knows it's there. Let me fucking have it. Like, I can see it. It's like here somewhere, isn't it? And that's why it's popping, but why isn't it? It's possibly because I... Maybe I was meant to come here later. Maybe I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe I, I'm going to assume that's what it is. Because I can't figure that out. <sighs> God damn it. Fucking nostrils are dribbling everywhere. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um... Where are you? Are you in here? I mean, I am trying. I really am. I just can't see what that is. I feel like I'm missing so much of this, like, mystery. I'm looking like, what are my hacking skills like? I need at least 60. I feel like the next level up should go entirely onto hacking, just so I can get the uh, thingamabob that was in that other room. I needed a 60 to hack that, which I feel like that had the answer to the mystery in it. <sighs> I just feel like we're getting half the information that we need, and I'm just fucking things up because I'm not figuring it out as quickly as I would like to. <laughs> well, why in the Sam Hill, is that making me... Is this where I am? Okay, I've got to go there. Fair enough. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> like, I like this game a lot, but it's got, it's got some problems. Like, the map... Got in there? Animals? Death traps? Like, I'm a fan of this game, as you well know, but... The map is fucking awful. The stealth sections are just fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm like... Oh. Samuel the Lawyer Hutes. I've already told you six times, and I'll tell you six more. I don't want a fucking tour. You can badger me all you want. I don't care if I'm from Forest Mills. I'm here as an individual, and I have just as much right to be here as any other visitor. You're welcome to bring a lawyer if you really want to try to force me out. But I can guarantee you that I will bury them. What the hell are you talking about? Nobody's trying to kick you up, buddy. Calm down. Oh, now you change your mind. Couldn't you have done that hours ago and saved us both the time? Wait a moment. You have all your teeth. You're not soaked in filth, and you don't look quite as slack-jawed as the regular Rizzo's staff. Are you not with Rizzo's? Nope. Freelancer. Uh, I'm not, no. Hmm. My mistake. I'd ask what your intention was for coming here in that case. But I imagine you're not here for the Spectrum original either. Regardless, please inform me if you'd be interested in a job. I've spent enough time out here that I'm starting to itch. I do not enjoy itching. I'm sure you have questions. Many. You said you work for Forest I Mills? Do indeed. Specifically, I'm their general counsel. Forest Mills, if you somehow don't know, owns Tile, Wentworth, Dock Rocket, and 24-7 Furniture. Were something of a big deal. 
Uh, you said you were a lawyer? What are you doing all the way out here? When the going gets tough, the lawyers start going. Some farther than others. I've been a junior lawyer for coming up on 20 years now. And quite frankly, I'm getting old. 20 years? Hopefully Fuck. there will be enough legal kindling out here to fuel my firm for a while longer. And if I find that kindling, I stand to finally get my raise. You mentioned working together. I did. You see, Rizzo's has been advertising a contest in the puzzle hedges. Whoever gets to the center first gets a bottle of the first Spectrum ever made. The Spectrum original. My interest, however, lies with the associated promise. The chance to attend the Spectrum Brown unveiling and meet Halcyon. Oh, buddy, you've been here a while, haven't you? Yeah, the unveiling's been postponed too. I'm not disappointed. I'm ecstatic. You may not know it, but you've just outlined the grounds for my lawsuit. And you've just given me another suspect. Rizzo's, you see, can no longer make good on their promise for people to meet Helen. However, the contest has not yet been cancelled, which means that I can bring them to court. With the Spectrum original bottle, which is located in the center of the puzzle hedges, I will have all I need to sue Rizzo's for all they're worth. That's where you come in. Why would Rizzo's give one of their original projects aw products away for free? Why does Forrest Mills want to sue Rizzo's? I'm not sure why you need my help. It's just amazing, isn't it? Uh, why do they want to sue Rizzo's? Technically, I sue not on behalf of Forrest Mills, but for my own benefit. In arbitration, it might be difficult to argue that this contest is designed to slight Forrest Mills. However, as it so happens, if my lawsuit takes a chunk out of their savings, then I can collect while also damaging their capital. It's a mutual win. I make millions, Rizzo's falls further from the board's good graces, and Forrest Mills products look that much more valuable compared to Rizzo's trash. But you guys make furniture. Rizzo's make booze and sweets. What? I cannot make head nor tail this capitalist hellscape. Uh, is anyone else trying to get Spectrum buffoons, original? But persistent buffoons. There's that woman from Glacial Age who has perhaps never had an original idea in her life and hopes to pass the original off as her own. Then there's Navarre, who is strange. I suggested I give her the original after my lawsuit if we work together, but she wouldn't hear of it. It must be hers alone, it seems. Uh, why would Rizzo's give one of their original products away for free? I don't know if you know this, but Rizzo's is on the outs. They're losing power and losing money. This was no doubt a desperate bid to regain some lost clout. That, or their marketing team, is particularly spiteful. You know the saying, I'm sure. Why work for a promotion when sabotage takes half the time and a quarter of the effort? Hmm... It's not going to be just a maze, it's going to be full of monsters and stuff. Navigating the maze is normally no easy task. Rizzo's has no interest in giving their property, however old, away for free. Come on, Captain, it'll be fun! Not like they got Manta Queens waiting around the corner or anything. Yes, they I'm probably do. I'm feeling confident, but this maze is deadly by design. And if that weren't enough, Zimmerman and Navarre don't want anyone sneaking away with their prize. The place is mined and rife with murderous mechanicals. Mechanicals, good to know. All right. Excellent. I look forward to I'll finally being able to focus solely on legal matters. Oh, and keep an eye out for competitors. Odds are they'll be looking out for the original as well. Oh, we're gonna have to murder our way through some stuff, aren't we? Let's. Um, it sounds like mechanicals are going to be the problem here. So let's. Swap out our creature killers for our robot killers. Let's get rid of one of these. And a flamethrower I'm never gonna use. One of the I'm never gonna use the vermins, am I? Um Now let's try it.
Excuse me. So it said they had mechanicals and they had other humans. Oh god, let me just... Okay, right, I'm coming here. Let's just go left, left, left until... Ah! What I thought. Mess with me. We'll take all that adrenal though. Ah! Spectrum Vodka Blue. Which I believe is what we needed, wasn't it? The good news is, I'm... I'm already lost. Oh, hello. You're a person. Greetings. Have you brought your auto-mechanical to the service technician lately? Damn it. I love that it gives you this little hint of what you could know about if you were a bit smarter. Are you trying to sell me something? Respectfully. I think there are better places to try to sell things than the middle of a hedge maze. Judging by this exchange, I presume you are not the person I was waiting here to meet. How do you know I'm not? not covered in a layer of dirt, fertilizer, and self -loathing. Oh, there's lots of self-loathing here. I don't know you, so I'd rather keep my admissions to a minimum without the presence of legal counsel. I was waiting for someone to give me information about these hedges. There was a lawyer back that as way, if you want to speak to him. Know. Why do people who are hiding something always have so much to say about <laughs> Yes! Glad you're with me, I Ellie. I offense to that, I think. You have the prize in the center of the... Fine, then. Keep your secrets. No, you have the prize in the hedges, too. Shh, not so loud. Ah, damn it. I guess you already know. I am indeed looking for the prize. You've caught me. Uh, finding the bottle won't get you, let you go to the unveiling. Why are you here? What interest have I in an unveiling? I don't watch much in the way of cereals, and crowds only make it easier for people to get behind you. I'm after the Spectrum original itself. And not to drink. Have you noticed that there's no trace of anything the corporations have done in the past? In fact, this contest for the original is the only time I've ever seen a corp refer to a prototype product not currently on the market. And why isn't it on the market? That is all I mean, like, she's got a point. She's got a point. Now that you mention it, that is a little strange. Indeed. And it's happened before. Seems the Corp are trying to hide their past failings. Anyhow, it's valuable to me to collect that which might inform future generations. I am more inclined to help her out, but I fucking... Apparently he's got fucking... Railroaded into working for the lawyer instead. Did you now? And how do you know the others aren't secretly Rizzo's agents who will stab you in the back? and take the bottle the moment you turn away. Give me the original and your actions will actually matter. I can promise you that. Ugh, you're not the only one looking Spectrum no. original, I believe. There's a bottom feeder who sees an easy payday connected to it, but he's hardly worth considering. But he was the first one the game puts in front of you. ...with an optimistic young woman intending to use the original as a springboard for upward mobility. Better than letting it rot, but still not ideal. I feel like that's railroaded me into working for the lawyer when she's got a better case for it. <sighs> Fucking. <laughs> Just his placement is right there and he hails you 
when you walk in, right? I'm not mistaken. He, like, says hello to you or something when you walk towards him. But he's right there in the entrance to the maze. I didn't know there was going to be other people. I thought I'd find that... I'd, he mentioned other people, but I thought I'd find their bodies in the maze or something. And now it's become like, oh, there's three people you can work for. One of them is the good one, but the evil one's right out in front. Like... The way they design levels... It places the evil option... It's kind of like, it's... It's what TV tropes refer to as guide dang it. It's like, I didn't know these other people were going to be here. If I did, I would have avoided him and came straight to her, who had the better case for the bottle. But now I'm pretty much working for the capitalists, which is the one thing I didn't want to happen. And that's entirely because of the placement of where he was, where the maze was, and how you've got to kind of go around him. So you're going to speak to whoever's there. And it felt like they're offering you a quest, so you take the quest. Ugh. Think fast. Never know when someone will come out of a bush, bolt or pistol at the ready. Keep your voice down. Never know who might be listening. I feel like you just told me that. Um. Okay. It's about the prize you're looking for. I'm afraid for. I haven't made much headway on my own. Admittedly, I'm a little wary of all the explosions I keep hearing. Some of those were me. Think that. Who are you exactly? Of consequence. Think of me as an archivist. I collect that which the corporations have dismissed as failures and try to sweep under the rug. Take the recalled Spacer's Choice Powerhead. It was a shotgun shell on a stick, apparently supposed <laughs> to be used like a spear. Had a tendency to ream the user's torso with buckshot. Corps don't want the common man to know about screw-ups like that. Which is why I keep my actions decidedly in the shadows. I like her. I want to help her out. You mentioned a prior orchard's contact. Someone I paid to inform on the orchards after I heard murmurs of a prize here. For security reasons, I never learned much about my contacts. All I knew about this one was that they were a groundskeeper. But the one here is either senseless or acting very well. Yeah, I met him. Probably whoever I was in contact with was lying. Or they were found out and hurled off the side of Eridanos. It's a risk of the business. Well, goodbye. I hope I can help her out. I, I feel like she's got the best claim to it. That's, I'm already lost, so I may as well... Aha! Uh -huh. Hold on. Just... Oh, God damn it. The hell are you? Frenzied host. Okay. Got my people killer, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh god. Back me up, friendos. Even fucking see you there. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your little passenger too. <laughs> they are very unsettling, right? Like, that's why I badly want to solve this fucking mystery of what's going on in the purpleberry orchards, but it feels like I'm being fucking twatted off the fucking thing every every turn. Yeah. 
No, I'm gonna burn all of the armor. Although, it's a light 16. Just wondering if there was a better helmet I could be wearing, but I destroyed the only other helmet I picked up. Cause I am a giddy goat. Well I'm already lost. I don't know where I am or how to get All I know is there's something to kill over here. Ah shit 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 oh. That was on me. Who are you? Ah, this is the next uh, person who I've already fucking forsaken. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. Ah, my word, stranger. You sure gave me a fright. I thought you were one of those strange sorts heaving all over the place. Maybe they got a bad batch of purpleberry wine. Since you don't seem to be laughing maniacally or projectile vomiting, think you could do me a favor? I'm trying to come up with a new name for a glacial age product, but the creative side of things just isn't my area of expertise. Do you happen to have any ideas? Came to the right person. What happens? I freelance as a product design consultant. My advice isn't cheap. Wow, a real consultant. And I had the good fortune for you to luck into me. I'd be delighted to pay you. So, the company I'm with is Glacial Age. Our products usually have a finer ring to them, and the product I'm trying to name is a vodka. Take your shot. Rainbow Ice Vodka? Volatile Vodka could appeal to the Hammersmith crowd. Distilled Dreams by Glacial Age, if you want to seem real uppity. I like the still dreams. Wow, that sounds great. I'm sure my bosses will love it. Uh, and don't worry, I'll absolutely credit you in one of the product footnotes. I've been a freelance writer long enough to know that that means that idea is gone, been sold, they've made the money, and I've been forgotten about before the full stop hits that final sentence. I get the funny, funny feeling you're not just here to sightsee. Oh, what is it you're trying to find a name for anyway? Maybe oh, I can do better. Oh, that fantastical. Just a new product idea Glacial Age R&D is working on. Uh, an idea that has nothing to do with why I'm in the puzzle hedges. <laughs> but as it so happens, I'm a little on the lost side, so thinking about it helps keep the panic at bay. If you find a map or a stepladder or something, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm beginning to fear coming here wasn't worth the trouble. Gonna take a wild guess. Seeing how you're in the middle of this maze, you want to reach the center. Close. I want what's in the center. You've heard of the competition, right? Whoever gets to the center gets a rare Rizzo's product and the chance to meet Halcyon and Helen. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. <laughs> News for you about that. Product, namely, the Spectrum Original, the first product Rizzo's ever made. I intend to reverse engineer it and make it Glacial Age's own. Taking someone else's old thing and repackaging it as your new thing? Classic Byzantium. Yep. Capitalism. Oh, this is dandy. I was not expecting any feedback from field testing before I'd even created the product. I'll be sure to jot that down for future reference. All I need for my prototype is the original itself. Then I can start production. Now I'm going for... Ugh. I'm already working for the lawyer. I can't change that. So, uh... You're not the only one taking this product, right? I reckon not. I've seen a couple of folks as out of place as... Well, me. One's a lawyer. You can tell by the smell of cigarettes, booze, and tears must sense there's a lawsuit to be found with the original. On principle, I don't want him to get it. Also, ran into a woman with the 
funny look in her eye. Plain told me she wanted the prize so she could stick it on a shelf. Hell's the use in that. Shelf ain't gonna help nobody. Uh, isn't stealing the original to make your own project kind of dot 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 dishonest? Dishonest? I've only ever heard that word used in that arbitration serial Lawful Labelle. Rizzo steal, Spacer's Choice steals, Auntie Cleo steals. Yeah, yeah, so, they all do. If Rizzo decides to release one of their original products for anyone to take, then it's Glacial Age's right to swoop in and be proactive. And like, she is right. They all steal from each other, and it is just like a horrible, incestuous clusterfuck of product brands and like capitalism. But I still think the collector should have it because she wants to like document the failures of the corporations. I'm trying to bring down the corporations here. In case you haven't watched the other streams, I've been doing like I've been trying to do space communism. I've been trying to bring down the big corporations so I can we can start again in a better society. But at the moment, she is like runner up on the person who deserves it the most. The only person who doesn't seem to deserve it is the fucking guy that I'm fucking iron locked into a contract with, apparently. Looks like the others are getting a little more aggressive. I know it's asking a lot, but maybe you could find it for me instead. Help out a struggling R and D developer. At least she fucking asked. Uh, good luck with that. My oh my, wouldn't it be wonderful if a freelancer could help rescue me from my horrible plight? I mean, I feel like I'll be allowed to choose. Um, I'm not going to do that. She already answered that. I feel like I'm going to be allowed to choose once I get to the middle. But I just feel shitty that like I just I just signed on for a quest. Thought he was the only guy there. Thought I'd find some corpses of the other people. Cause that's how the, these these quests seem to go usually. Oh, that's fine. Nope, oh, robots. Hold on. Sorry, Ellie. Shit, I'm walking in front of me while I'm shooting though. least I'm not too bad at the combat these days. That's where I'm trying to get to. So let's just I mean I am taking all of these purple berry guys and all your money. Excuse me. See, I thought I'd just find a bunch of dead bodies like this guy. The treasure must be near. I can almost smell it. Well, I could have had any sensation in my nose or mouth. I've been eating purple berries for the last day. And though at first they were pleasant, lately it's been harder to work my jaws to chew them. Six of us entered this maze under the pretense of a friendly hunt for the maze's secret, but only a fool would take that at face value. Carter got was lost in only a few hours, and when Sydney sent some of the others, and when Sydney and some of the others became abrasive, I decided to be proactive. Fewer people to split the road with. I see my problem here. As I seem to, as I'm reading each line, I'm reading the one below it and the one above it, and that tends to like fuck up my. Um, the way I'm reading it, especially as I'm reading it on stream. Anyway, before I shot him, Carter claimed it wasn't worth it, that the treasure could be shared. He must have been desperate indeed if he thought I would fall for the same trick twice. Whatever the case, I'm sure I'll be up and searching again. I will find the treasure or I will die trying. Well, one of those things came true. 
And like purple berries are poisonous, right? Like did did we all we all know this now, right? <laughs> like the fact that he was eating nothing but purple berries and he got paralyzed <laughs> should be the indication there. <sighs> Welcome to MattHollandAuthor.com tries to solve a hedge maze. This is why I hate mazes. Oh shit, shit, shit. This is, at least this is a new area. We've not been to before. <laughs> that was fun. Can we do it again? Oh, oh, hold on. There are also enemies here, so please be one. Oh, there is. God damn it! I can see it. I can see the blue things there. Am I the only one seeing the blue things there? Why? Let me see it. Let me see the thing. Analysis. Oh Ground appears to be scattered with purple berry seedlings. This particular strain is of a variety proprietary to Rissos and should not be in common use. Last ball containing some of the seedlings half buried in the dirt. Okay. Property of Carter Reynolds! I remember him. Didn't hide their tracks so well. Found your way to the center of the purple berry puzzle hedges, and I will never get tired of saying that. And have earned this one-of-a-kind boon, the right to look upon a one-of-a-kind Rizzo's product, free of charge. We encourage you to wonder at what the Spectrum original might taste like as you keep at least three feet away from the display at all times. Five percent discount on certain Rizzo's products and vending machines. Certain products. Note that promise of a discount is non-binding. Any failure to find Rizzo's vending machines accepting said discount to the responsibility of the holder, not the Rizzo's corporation. Any attempts to force a discount or dispute the grounds of this certificate's discount will be prosecuted to the full extent of lethal force. Will be prosecuted to the full extent of lethal force. That does not sound right. Well, ah, oh, my fucking nostrils. I'm, there is a sneeze. There's a sneeze coming. I don't know when it's gonna come. Is the thing. Ah, <laughs> oh. this is all new. May as well look at this. We can't go in there. The hard part was getting the brain out. I mean, I feel like I may need to fast travel to get out of here. I kind of thought that would happen anyway, but... Let's just see what's... Oh, shit. Ah! Ah! Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, smack. Blam. Bam, bam, bah! There's another one? I just, I'm gonna do like Batman, the animated, well, the Batman, 60s Batman noises every time I swing a weapon at something. <laughs> oh no! 
Let's do an honest attempt at trying to find my way out before I fast travel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. I feel like I'm just going around in circles, you know? Oh, wait, no. It's the entrepreneur. And I also feel like this would be easier to do in third person. First person is not my favorite perspective. That's not a passageway. This is fast travel. Can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> be asked like getting lost. I'm already like getting annoyed with that. Uh R D D Labs. Alright, which one of these is me, okay? Is that green thing me or is that the quest marker? I have not been able to figure this out this entire game. Cause the quest marker always seems to be on top of where I am, so I can never know what each one is. Alright. It's very annoying. <laughs> like, if I could just see, like, a big you are here sign, or, like, have it be a different color or something, that I could distinguish it from the quest marker, it'd be amazing. But it just always seems to be, I either only check the map when the quest marker is on top of me. See, again, I've moved again. Like, what? <sighs> At least I'm not in the fucking thing anymore. It's like I always... Whoa, what is this now? What's happening here? I always seem to be like... I'm either on top of the quest marker so I can't see myself. Or the map is just really badly designed that you don't have a quest... You don't have a... A you on the map, which... It is very annoying. I, I was here before. I don't know why I'm discovering it for the first time now. Right, you. Hello again, youngster. You're certainly doing a lot of running to and fro. Don't overexert yourself. The wasp kiddos can smell weakness. Bleeding hell. Standing up. Okay, I've said, you've said this before. I found this bottle at the heart of the puzzle hedges. Says it's yours. Oh, there that damn thing is. Thank you. I guess this proves it's wise to label your things. Otherwise, some fool might use them as prizes in an ill-advised scavenger hunt. Found it real close to where I should have found the Rizzo's original. Strange, huh? Did you drop this when you're stealing the original from the maze? You can tell me. Yeah, I go with the first one. I will admit. I did take the original, yes. But I did so to keep it away from those who shouldn't have it. It's safer in my hands. If you're here to get it, I might suggest you give up. I'm known to be quite a stubborn git. Well, I'm known to fucking have put a lot of points into persuasion skills, so fuck you. <laughs> uh... Which is fraud. You can fucking rip it from your broken fingers. You're gonna be difficult. Uh, let's ask him what he wants it for first. This is gonna take away all my precious skill options, though. I didn't want it for anything. I needed to keep it safe. Rizzo's almost never makes mistakes, but offering a classified original product to the public for free. Any upstart might grab it and use it to make Rizzo's look bad, or, or steal it to make a new product offshoot, or, law forbid, mm -hmm. start a lawsuit of some kind. Better I hold on to it. Let's make Rizzo's look bad. 
Administrator Ludovico requested I retrieve that original. Are you going to be difficult? You work for the admin? Why didn't you just say you were a high runner? No malice intended for me. Please know that I was just trying to protect the company. Here's the original. Don't do anything with it that I wouldn't do. Are we close to a level up now? So I can get my ten points of fucking hacking stuff. So I can figure out this goddamn mystery. Right. Uh, if I... Fucking locked. It's hard locked to me into working for the lawyer, hasn't it? And I didn't want to. I don't want to work for him. I wanted to give it to the woman who wants to. Right. I genuinely. It feels like more things have been spawned onto that map, making it harder to see where I am. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Not giving it to the lawyer. I'm gonna try and find the collector. He's right there. That's so annoying. Like, you should. I mean, if he's right there and he's the first one you speak to, you should be able to betray him. To be hard locked into working with him just seems shitty. <sighs> okay. Fuck you, mustachio. Great day for a stop. Keep your voice down. Spectrum original. Here you go. It's a little scratched on the neck. And the label's a bit smudged. Smells funny. But I think it is genuine, yes. This'll look real good in my archives. Here's your pay. I'll be in touch if there's ever another time when I need to keep a corporation honest. And if anyone ever asks, we never met. <laughs> Yeah, I did the right thing there. I don't know why I'm finding mines still. Anyway, uh, where's my map? Well, well, fuck you then. Where the host? Where where are the hostiles? I'll keep it down. <sighs> ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh my gun. <sighs> you know... Shit, the bed, oh my god. That guy nearly fucking killed me. Fuck me, they did some fucking damage there. Are we away from hostiles now? Can I fast travel? Fuck every duck. Jesus Christ. You know what? Let's... We can go back to the nut hut. Speak to the... Proprietor. Those hostiles are fucking right there. I mean, I think that they do put them in there so you can't fast travel away from the maze, so you've got to do the maze to fucking... Right, I came in here. And then we... There we go! I'm out! Fuck you, hedge maze! May our doors be... Ah, god, okay. Apparently the mosquitoes are still around. Uh, right, let's swap these out. Fuck. Every duck, hold on. Six, four, five, six, three. Oh, 
I legit thought I'd killed all these. Hold on. Watch out for your kidneys. They apparently like to stab people in the kidneys. I mean, I switched off the thing, right? I 100% did that. Why are they still here? Okay, fuck, you know, that was intense. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought we got rid of all those people. There's Creepo over here. Look, I'm just trying to level up enough that I can hack the Welcome thing. Welcome to the Nut Hut, the only place you can get Rizzo's ground up, pound up fruit drinks. God, I hate looking at you. berries and twigs. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Ow. Hold on. Let me get you. Have you sold any spectrum from the storage warehouse ship? question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RR&DD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. <sighs> Zanilla shoots before she died, have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. Well, signs. If are wrong, he could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. I mean, I've seen better reads from me an hour ago. Uh, oh, that's fucking hard. Like, you take him to see a Halcyon Helen movie? Yeesh. Seems a little soon. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure he's not I'm sure he's not completely overcome by grief or anything. Sadness is a big old waste of time. Besides, the sooner I start courting him, the sooner we can both be happy. I don't like how she says happy. I hate it. I wish there was something I could do to stop this. Oh, did I get anything from that? Did I get any fucking levels from that? Uh... So apparently, the next one, you'll need red I've got, orange I've got, yellow I've got, green I've got, blue I've got. All I need is indigo. But it said that Black Hole Bertie was the one who bought that one. Okay, so I just need indigo. And hopefully I won't fucking drink it first. Uh, found evidence that a certain research file was downloaded to a data cartridge and deleted from the terminal. And again, that just feels like, yeah, I could hack it and get it. 
Or I could just be like, yeah, it's there. It exists. I can't find it, though. It seems shitty. I... Back burner for that. Let's do the strange case of a missing watchman. I'm a bad investigator. I am so bad at this. I thought I'd be good at this. I thought I'd like... I'd be in my element here, but so far it just seems to be a lot of pixel hunting and... Uh, not having the skills that you need. <laughs> Anyway, let's look into this guy. I thought this guy's trail was somewhere in here, but apparently not. Once again, like the general way you find stuff out, like these little quest markers are quite useful, but the map itself, like I'm quite far from that. Oh, there I am. Okay. That's me, that little blue triangle, right? And that's the quest marker. But there are just so many fucking things just burying it under there. Anyway, let's go through that way. I honestly think that's the first time I've actually seen... Like, the marker that indicates where I am on the map. And that's kind of a problem. <laughs> Right. Are you just leading me on a grand old like wild goose chase? No, I think it's going over this way. There are so many mysteries here at the I can't even remember the name of the hotel I'm staying at. <laughs> That's how bad of a detective I am. <laughs> Didn't even detect the name of the fucking hotel. Like the Grand Colonial. There it is. I knew I'd get there eventually. Oh. I feel like we need to be sneaky. And potentially... I feel like... We should have... I don't like I don't like that either. I, I'm I'm finding faults with this game. I don't like that. Like it's like the if you've got something equipped in your hand, you can't unequip it from the menu, which feels like it's making you quit out the menu, take it out your hand, swap back to the menu, then unequip it, then go back. It's like it's adding extra steps to the problem. Anyway. Oh shit, okay, the people still alive in here. Man alive! There are men alive here. Sublight underground takes care of its own. Anyway. So I can Good God, um... Oh, it's alright. We can, uh... Hmm. Where's my 3.0 pistol? Hot diggity daffodil, that does a lot of damage now. Uh, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, I think that's kind of as high as it'll go. I can modify... Where's my Bolter Pistol 3.0? There we go. Can muzzle. I 
at a faster rate of fire. I do like the idea of reduced sway. We can do a silencer, more critical damage, faster shot. It already fires quite quickly anyway. Let's uh, reduce the weapon's way. Uh, we can change its. Well, it already fires plasma. Uh, Increase the magazine size. Let's do that. And go for gyro sights. Scope. See, I'm partial to a gyro sight. I feel like the scopes are not great. And where is my titanium thing? Sure grip. It loses less durability. I mean, get some speed on there for sure. Does more damage from power attacks, or it does plasma damage. You can change to do N ray damage. Or shock damage, or corrosion damage. Oh, let's give it Mr. Ouch. And, you know... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying tinkering with stuff at the moment. Let's pop this saber thing that you're all so excited about. Although... I'm going to do this instead. Let's modify that. The champion toss ball thing. With a speed grip. And a Mr. Acid. Oh wait, no, no, no. Melee weapon glow so deeply. N rays are really useful uh, I want a better acid weapon so let's install that there we go got an acid uh, toss ball thing that's exciting let's <laughs> I'm really sorry I'm doing a lot of weapon modification but this is quite I feel like I can boost this up and then modify the saber. And make an N ray sword. How cool is that? Little uh like lightsaber dealy. It fucking sucks damage wise. <laughs> Spent a lot of money on it, but there we go. Right, let us swap some stuff around. I don't like how this thing is just taking up space, but it's fine. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of these. Fuck it. Uh, 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 fucking get rid of it. Hopefully I got the mods back. And again, I don't need that. Gold. The titanium one is the one I like. So let's... Ditch you. 
ditch all of this shit. Repair all of it. And I think we're fine. Right, let's move on. <coughs> Slug employee schedule. Under crew, see Pepperberry Orchards and Connector Complex. I'm going to scratch out her name and replace it with Evan O'Connell's. Okay, so he's in room A2 in the lower level, the Grand Colonial, to sleep off whatever was affecting him. I'm only doing these quests so I can boost my hacking skill. <laughs> like, I'm... I just want to get... So like level 33, put everything in the hacking so I can go back to the uh, the lab, hack the computer, get the information that I need. Let's get some little uh Elevator music there in the background. Well, the last thing about that Burbage 3000 was procedurally generated. That was the joke that I missed earlier. Uh, right. How do I get down? Oh, here's a down. Hello, Bellhop. You keep at it. Something mighty strange. Get it. Don't mind me, just doing some standard investigator stuff. Go back to your tiny bell hoppy lives. Down here, like sprats in a wall. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. I've got it. Wait. Something popped there. What? I don't like these pixel hunts. Can we not? Can we not do this? Wait, what? Oh shit, sprats. Hold on. Fuck's sake, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, this is going badly for everybody concerned, hold on. <laughs> Nicely done, Pavati, just right. run in front of me. There was a discrepancy it noticed. And the blue thing goes up here, right? You can all see those blue sparkles. Ah, oh, there it is. Fuck's sake. I've detected a structural anomaly within a 0.8 meter radius of this locked door. Damn it. Could you narrow that down for me? floor panel is 0.3 millimeters shorter than regulation length. Suggesting unauthorized modification. I'll bear that in mind. What? God damn it. I just want the experience to do the hacking, man. Because I don't want to go back to the administrator with, the, yeah, there's a, the files exist. I can't get them. Uh. Wait. Is that? That's a sprat hide. That's not anything. What? 
Is there anything in my journal? Amelia Stillwell. Amelia Stillwell. Was she the one who worked? This is why I. This is why it sucked that I had to wait two weeks. I don't remember who anyone is. I think Amelia Stillwell is the one at the front desk, which is a place I can definitely get to. I mean, I think that's her. Like, I feel like this is meant to be played all in one go, where you're kind of keeping your own notes to keep track of who everyone is. Like, I've already forgotten who Amelia Stillwell is. <sighs> I think I'm just getting fed up, <laughs> honestly. I just want to get that level up so I can get the hacking ability necessary to get the stuff I need to fucking get to the next stage of the thing. And, like, it is fun. It's just... I... despise pixel hunts with every core of my being, because it's just... my eyes don't work that way. Like... Oh, well, this is very interesting. Where have I ended up now? Oh, yeah. There we go. No, that's fine. <sighs> Yeah, like, I, like, as I've previously mentioned a bunch of times, I'm colorblind. I cannot, I really struggle to see when the tiny, minute differences between colors and stuff. And usually I can spot those little blue sparkles that indicate that something is nearby, but I can never fucking get my eye on it. Like, I can never see it. Driving me insane. And, like, the little fucking... That cute little, here's a sneaky way to do a thing. Oh, I see you found an alternate way. Did not fucking improve my mood at all. Right, yo. Where is the... Oh, you're... We should try no, you're a guest. And... Have I just come into an entirely new place? Hold on. Who is Amelia Stillwell? I thought that was you. Why? <laughs> okay. Amelia Stillwell. Escorted Evan to room A2 on the lower level of the Grand Colonial Hotel to sleep off whatever was affecting him. I just feel like I've, it, I'm just hitting problems that I'm just badly specced for. Like, that was a strength thing that I needed. I don't have the strength to do that. So what's my alternate route? The Grand Colonial Frank yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have key to A2? <sighs> Amelia Stillwell? Who the fuck is that? Is she the one who gave me the quest? I was like, ah, god damn it. I am tempted to put last, the last video on and just scrub through till let's see the name Amelia Stillwell. Who the fuck is that? Like, why is that not my fucking marker for this? And where did I learn that information? That was just on a thing, right? And again, is this because I got the... I found some stuff before I was meant to find it, so it's jumbled up the... the, the quest? Like... It does feel like this is this would be great to play through. 
to like stream it for the first time. It is a lot of bashing my head against the wall. Right. I picked up the quest. And where am I now? What the f You know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to set a personal marker. Something you cannot do in this game, can you? You can't set your own markers. Who the fuck is Am Blech. excuse me? Who the fuck is Amelia Stillwell? Because I feel like she'll have the key card, but then why isn't she my green marker? Ooh. Right, this is where Pebbleberry Nut Hut. Do you have anything for me that's new? Because I feel like I solved your problem already. Oh, that's that. Much as I would have liked you to send slug packing, I can't deny that your solution. Maybe then my ex-husband wouldn't have my house or teacup canid and twenty thousand of my bits. <laughs> Uh, nothing new. Okay. You? So, you at the end of the day, it's almost amazing how easily you were able to solve both. Yep. But at the moment, I'm more than pleased. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nothing new. I didn't mean to skip through that. I'm just getting impatient now. Because <laughs> I think it was about here where we found the person who originally gave us the quest, whose name could be Amelia Stillwell. It's just, uh... And again, when I'm trying to do stuff like this, like, um... Pixel hunting, or trying to find my way around... The first person perspective makes me so fucking claustrophobic. This card also expired prematurely. Like the first person perspective just makes me feel really closed in and frustrated and it does not help with like trying to f like navigate or trying to like do pixel hunts and stuff. Cool. Awesome. Didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to get there faster. I'm tempted to like next level up put like faster sprinting as a perk because this is oh the sprinting is so slow are you happy customers are repeat customers <sighs> who the fuck is Amelia Stillwell I'm gonna google it <laughs> hold on google come on now Amelia Stillwell, Outer Worlds. She is an NPC in the Murder and Eredrid to this place DLC. I think she is the the last person to see. I'm. I think I'm just jumbling through this, but there's a character on thingy. Interactions with the player character. Section needed. Awesome. Amazing wikiing because it just says section needed. Let's go to Fextra Life and we wait and we wait. Uh, that I've interacted with and thank you for the fucking thing. Canyons can be found at the start of the bridge between. Okay, but that gives me nothing, doesn't it? 
Lily Vargas is the one who gave me the question. Shut the fuck up, Ellie. Lily Vargas is the one who gave me the quest. I'm just googling the solution now. I'm getting fed up. Uh, head to botanical operations. Yes, I've done that. Okay. I would never in a million goddamn years have figured out that this is the solution. I would have been here for another like three or four hours trying to find this. Apparently, the robot, the little discrepancy guy, that's the thing that like, there's apparently a key card underneath the door. That was never indicated. That was never indicated. That was never fucking... I only found that because I looked it up. It did say it was like smaller than regulation. But why, why? That's not a, that's not a... That's not a clue. Oh, I found this before. Oh, I found this before. Why can't I find it again? There it is, okay. Where is the room that I'm trying to get into? So room A2. Apparently there's a key card here, I can't fucking see it. Where is it meant to be? <sighs> Analyze it. Head to the complex, look for the number. Okay, so let me about the discrepancy. Analyze it, and it should show you a hidden compartment in the floor. Motherfucker, how the fuck was it? Don't know how I was meant to know that. I mean, was that always there? Like that little... Fucking hell. How long did that... That took about 15 minutes to... Fuck it. It's fine. We have the key card now. I did inadvertently spoil the end of the quest because I was looking it up. Not being funny, not being funny, right? That was like, I found that. It said there was a discrepancy. I saw that strength wouldn't do it. I thought the other option would, would like give me something. And it kind of fumbled me off with the doors a bit smaller than the hinges and I looked I looked I had my cursor was there I mean I think I got distracted because a fight came in around the same time but it's fine One of these fucking things. <sighs> I mean, I'm not. 
I am angry, very angry, but. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis confirms this is Evan O'Connell. Jesus Christ, I'm so annoyed by that. He is dead. No kidding, the man had a giant slug crawling on him. For additional study of this body's skeletal structure, the cause of death was head trauma. Head trauma. Further analysis indicates Evans' fatal injuries were sustained from blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, and his head collided with the ground. Check for evidence of foul play. There are traces of blood on Evans' hands, Inspector. Now my strength works. Analysis concludes this blood is human, type A. Medical records indicate Evan O'Connell's blood is type O. Who's so fighting with somebody? Who the fuck is Amelia? Alright. It's time we talk to Miss Stillwell. Like to question Amelia Stillwell, slug scheduling records indicate that she is presently on duty at the pilot house checkpoint. I mean, like the fact that that key card was under the thing, did my cursor just never fall on the, that spot or what? Because I feel like if that had fallen upon the spot where the key card was, I'd have found it. I'm just replaying it back over in my mind. Like, I had the fight with the Sprats, I think, that fucked me up and threw my equilibrium off, so maybe that's why I couldn't find it. But fucking hell. I would have I would have circled and circled and circled for hours if I hadn't Googled that. And I feel like that's my fault. I should have fucking looked at the floor. But why would I look at the floor? The discrepancy thing was pointing at the door the entire time. My cursor just never hit that floor tile that I needed to, f to hit. Right, where are these two things? Lily Vargas and Amelia Stillwell. The mysterious Amelia Stillwell. Who apparently I've spoken to. To the point where I knew who she was. I'm just going to run straight for I'm not going to use the fast travel because fucking... Why are you cowering? What? No, wait. Well. <laughs> shit on a midshipman's goddamn biscuit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's swap that out for this one. Actually, no. Corrosive. Let's burn these motherfuckers. Not so funny now, is it, motherfucker? Oh, for fuck's sake, what? Well, I just got fucking Skyrimmed by that guy. That was nice, cool, awesome. Night, thanks for running into my fucking acid spraying fucking club. Awesome of you. Cool security guarding, you fucking idiot. Non slug personnel aren't permitted on the pilot house. Can I help you? With Apparently, something? we've met before. So, I need to ask you some questions regarding Evan O'Connor. Sure. He in trouble or something? He's dead! Can you be in trouble if you're not alive anymore? Is this a joke? You're telling me Evan's dead and that's your concern? What is wrong with you? 
Inspector, I work on the facts, plain and simple. Now, what do you know about Evan? I know he got drunk on the job, and I took him back to the hotel to sleep it off. But he had... Left him on one of the beds in A2. He seemed fine. But he had blood on his knuckles. You know, something bad happened to you in A2. I want to help. You won't believe me if I tell you. The slugs, right? I found giant slugs on Evan's body. And he thought rather than a ship of us colonists. I <laughs> know, I'm kind of dumb, I believe. Well, I think that's the most accurate, honestly. Found giant slugs on Evan's body. You what? Well, <laughs> shit. Maybe you will believe me. I walked Evan to A2, like I said. And then, out of nowhere, he just came at me. One minute he's laughing and yelling about sharing his joy. And the next, he's choking the life out of me. Grinned the whole time he was trying to kill me, too. And, like, yeah, this is the... He had one of those things in his neck. How'd you get away? Dumb luck, I guess. I got a good hit in, threw him off, and ran like hell. If I'd known the fault killed him, I... Well, I don't know. I should have told someone. Look, I've got a few more questions. What do you want to know? Uh, why didn't you tell anybody? Giant slugs. That's so about the slugs. I can't help you there. <sighs> boop, boop, boop. Can't do that. Uh, we owe it to him to find out what happened. Have you been to Purpleberry Orchards, Inspector? Awfully nice out there. You should visit. What are you? Oh. Well, think it over. Why didn't you tell anyone Evan attacked you? Evan would never attack anyone. I barely believe he attacked me and I was there. Guess it shook me up pretty good. Evan's always been a total sweetheart. I don't get it. How are you holding up? I don't know. The whole thing shook me up something fierce, but I'm still here. I'm upset. Angry at Evan. Sad about him being... You know... Scared folks won't believe me. I'm not much for math, so I couldn't tell you how that averages out. But thanks for asking. Hmm. Tell me I need to so, know. What happens now, Inspector? Do you nothing? Now you pay for it, Vigilante Justice. I'm not here to get you in trouble. I just want to untangle this web. Yeah, do that. Fair enough. I just wish I could understand why he did what he did. Evan is... He was my friend. Or I thought he was. I don't know. I hope you're able to make more sense of this than I can, Inspector. Ah, so close to that level up. Okay. Well, we've got a shopper in, I guess. And the thing that fucking sucks, like... I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be clever with this. I obviously I've never played the DLCs before, so I don't know what's coming next. But I'm trying to be clever. I'm trying to explore everything and speak to everybody. And it just feels like I'm getting like just fucking fobbed off at every single turn. Like I'm missing important details. I'm fucking and like I'm not crazy. The name Amelia Stockwell only came about because of, like, me Googling it, right? Well, they count as people. They count as uh, creatures, I guess. And yeah, it kind of feels like um, I'm, say I'm missing like important stuff that just like I'm just not seeing. Whether that's through pure fucking stupidity, or the fact that I'm colorblind, or the fact that it's first person, and as soon as we start having to pixel hunt, I get panic attacks. But <sighs> Jesus. 
just feels like I'm fuck. I'm gonna get like the bad ending to this entire fucking ordeal because I just did not see the thing in time. That's that's what I was saying before we got attacked. Then the name Amelia Stockwell or whatever that was did that just came out of nowhere, didn't it? That was just in my quest log. That wasn't like. I didn't organically find that name. Unless I did and just didn't see it. And I'm confused. So confused. There you are. Fucking miles away from where we first met too. Cool. Inspector, awesome. You find my missing man? Uh found O'Connell, he's dead. Shit. That's fucking inconvenient. Darned inconvenient. You know, he fell, landed on his head. It's an unfortunate accident. That whole head? Oh, that's embarrassing. If he's gonna die and leave me short-staffed, he ought to at least have the decency to get mauled by raptodons or something. I'm not putting Amelia in it. Uh, also, Evan, there we go. Covered in slugs when I found him. That's unusual, but I don't see how that factors in. Oh my god. It's like, I know this. But my character will ref just fucking refuses to acknowledge it. Uh, I intend to find Good out. For you, that's a nice go-getter attitude you got there. I hope you do figure it out. But my involvement ends here. I gotta figure out who the fuck's replacing Evan. We're short-staffed as it is. A new day, a new pain in my ass. Level up, level up, level up. Yes, fucking all of it in hacking because I need to get into that terminal. It's like, I know it's because of the slugs that are infecting everybody at the orchard. I seen them. I fucking, like... Anyway. Let's... That one, and then we'll travel to the hive. The labs. I don't know, I think I'm just an idiot. I just can't figure this... I just can't, like, see things. <laughs> it's like... It's the fact that it was underneath the floorboard. It's like, oh my god, like... Nothing in the dialogue that I can remember pointed to the floorboards. It all pointed to the door being the wrong side size. And maybe that's just me reading it wrong, but it kind of feels a bit shitty. It feels like I kind of cheated to get there. When that would have been a fun mystery to solve. That would have been that would have been great if I just found the key card, gone in, that'd have been oh shit. That connects to the thing I already found about that I was that I wanted to sort out. Like, yeah. That would have been great if I'd have just found that fucking key card right there. That would have improved my mood immensely, but as it was, it became a fucking thorn of frustration. This better let me hack this fucking computer now. <laughs> this is all I was doing it for. Messages. Oh, fuck off. Files. I'm 100% sure if you were watching this, you were yelling, you needed a 65 in hacking, Matt. You needed a 65 in hacking. You needed a 65 in hacking. 
Unfortunately, I cannot fucking hear you from here. That leaves me taking very deep breaths and trying to remain calm on a stream. <sighs> do I have any other fucking quests I can do? No. <sighs> it's like... I know what the answer is. I just need that little bit of confirmation to... You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to fucking do? I'm going to go back. I'm going to bring Vicar Max in. He's a hacker. He gives my hacking skills up a bit. I'm going to come back. We're going to get the fucking hack thing. And it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Ooh. <laughs> uh. I was just thinking then, like, oh my god, if this ends up like I can't hack into it by some stupid fucking bullshit, I'm gonna be so angry. As it is, it's fine. Because we have Vicar Max at our penthouse. A place I'll get to. I'll get... You know what? Fuck it. You missed your fucking chance, penthouse. We're going to be doing some traveling around here. And I feel the edge to pee coming on. just want to reach a point to finish this stream. <laughs> uh, it's been four hours already. Fuck me. Hold on. Right. Be back shortly. I feel like it's been like four hours and 90% of it has been me complaining about stuff. Like, it's not like, it's not my usual habit to try and complain this much, but... I don't even think it's badly designed or anything or that like it's the game being the problem. I think I'm just uniquely shit at figuring this stuff out. It's stressing me out.
It's like, you know in movies or books and stuff where it's like, it's like the the person with the right abilities turns up for the job at the right time, like, he's the only person who can, etc. This entire situation feels like that situation's Wario. Like, I am uniquely unfucking suited to this fucking style of gameplay. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh. You know what? I miss Felix. Bring, uh. Felix and Vicar Max along. It's like. Because, like, yeah, I. The unique combination of bugs in my brain makes it difficult to do this like it's the first person perspective which as I have constantly said throughout every stream I've ever done in the three years I've been doing this I struggle with it's hard for me to orient myself and figure out where things are that's a factor color blindness again in theory, the stuff highlights quite well, and I can generally see it, but I can never usually see where that blue sparkle is pointing to, because the blue sparkle I can see, the stuff is the same colour as all the other stuff, so I'm basically just scrolling slowly through, and that's boring, I hate doing that. As I keep saying, pixel hunts. Hate them. Hate them uniquely. Like, cannot do them. Would prefer to never touch them ever again. Anyway, we were going to... And it's like, the blue sparkle points to, like, something in this area is something you need to investigate. But all of the somethings are the same colour to me. <laughs> I can't see the difference between them. It drives me fucking insane. And I also think that little finding the thing underneath the floorboards thing. That's just so fucking annoying. Because I think I potentially may have found that. If I hadn't had to do a combat right then. Like right when we were fucking there. <sighs> it's like, literally, uniquely, my brain cannot do this. And it's very funny finding it out, I'm sure. Like, I came into this all like, yeah, it's a mystery. I can, I can solve a mystery. I can put clues together. But I can put them together. The game isn't. I can only do what the game gives me options for. <laughs> Like, I already kind of know that, like, these slugs in people's brains, these little passengers and stuff, it's got something to do with the, uh, the murder. Like, I think she may have potentially uncovered this research, maybe, and whoever did the murder wants to put her out of her misery. And by put her out of her misery, I mean an entirely different thing. What I meant was... Um, get her out of the way. An entirely different thing to what I said before. My brain is just firing all kinds of random shit at me. This better fucking work. Come on now. Yes, here we go. Jesus, all that. Um, lab terminal. Tests involving the parasite Iridanium gigaseus, colloquially old dub, collo some people were saying slugs have produced astounding results. Even when compared against our most promising methods of producing a brain chemical dependency, the pheromone these guys secretes produces dopamine more efficiently than anything on record. Further tests will continue researching how much of the compound we can introduce to subjects and observe the effects. Despite our less than ideal presentation to administration, the product impressed for two main reasons. As mentioned before, this product will produce that boozy feel-good stimulus like no other. 
But more importantly, the pheromone's makeup is completely unique, which means there are no regulations surrounding its classification. The idea of a completely addictive product with zero laws surrounding it would certainly justify any means. <laughs> so what they were trying to do is get One something... Get the distinct impression someone's trying to stop us. Thanks for your help, Vicar Max. I'm glad you were here for this. I'm sorry for all those things I said to you a while ago. I'm switching back to Ellie and Pavati though, because for ninety nine percent of this they've been good for like the extra boost from Pavati for my percep my persuasion and engineering and stuff has been invaluable and Ellie's been good for little dialogue options and stuff. Between the three of us, we're the dream team. It's just occasionally we've got to bring the hacker in. Oh, I need to get this finished so I can just... messily blow my fucking nose. This was a bad idea. <laughs> anyway. Some part of the penthouse. And the thing is, like, it is still fun. Like, I am enjoying the mystery side of it. I'm just frustrated with how stunted I feel in comparison to the story and stuff. What's going on here? <laughs> hey, I've been ready to confront that guy. I was just going to wait until he really embarrassed himself. Hey, dickhead. Oh, sweet gibbering law. Hey, a it's a little. Sorry, uh, let me just get back here. It's like a little Martin guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you. Pretty sure it looks like a Rizzo's mascot is in my room, going through my things. Looks can be deceiving, friend. For example, what looks like misappropriation may, in fact, be a misunderstanding. I seem to have wandered into the wrong premises. I have mistaken this penthouse for the Rizzo's Ranger's locker room on account of my headgear cutting off my peripheral vision. <sighs> not gonna hurt you. Just relax, tell me what you're up to. Look at my face. Do I look like I'm in the mood for your nonsense? That feels more in character for me right now. Not even a little. I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the hack attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. You're out of luck. I found it already. It's pretty incriminating. I think I did find it already. What's the hurry? We've got time. Tell me everything. It's extremely difficult for me to tell you no. In fact, I'm experiencing enormous mental anguish right now. Will you meet me later over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Uh, tell me what you know. Tell me what you know. Oh, they have to rinse your remains out of that mascot outfit. Yeah, I'm fucking playing hardball. I... what? But... I don't... I can't? Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. So tempted just to twat him on the back of the head. <laughs> Is this another thing I'm gonna I'm gonna have to remember for next time, and I'll forget it all? Anyway. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspkitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. 
Of course, losing me would have been worse. Yes, for both of us. I don't want an unsolved murder staining the legacy of this institution. Something about hi, this hi, you love me. troubles me. The circumstances are suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? You know why I think this guy might be incredibly gay? He reminds me of... Uh, what's Captain Holt's partner's name in Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Graham. Greg? That guy. Basically, it reminds me of that guy. Sean. Don't know where I was getting Gregory from. <clears throat> it may possibly possibly be the same actor who plays him. Um, the plot thickens, Administrator. You have my attention. Doctor Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. Helen insisted on touring the Rizzo's lab. Uh. Hmm. These are the, all three of these seem important. Start with the research and development lab stuff. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. When I was in that data, had to be important. This happened just before the Wasp Keto attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you discover anything else? Uh, Helen insisted on touring the lab. Insisted? That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. Then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. What were you going to show her during the tour? Oh, found evidence she was at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? Uh, Dr. Blossom, by the way, yeah, Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility. She was in trouble when I found out the other way because it turned violent. I'll go with that one. Her commitment to her NDA was admirable. I'll make sure to accelerate the payout of her death benefits to her next of kin. All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. I'll let you know if I learn anything else. This incident else. at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Uh, hey, why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in my room? Why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead up to a joke? There was a Rizzo's mascot poking around in my room. I'd like to know why. I don't know why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room. Oh, service. I bet it does. I if they pay so. enough. Uh, he had some interesting things to say about Black Hole Bertie. Uh, such as? Yeah. I most certainly did not. My policy toward Eridanos is one of, shall we say, benign negligence. I keep my distance and don't involve myself unless necessary. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. 
I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Was there anything else? Uh, I'll be back. So, yeah. Honestly, I kind of want to keep going. This is the problem. It's so... It, the mystery is so compelling. It's just... The individual steps to get there rely on things that my brain just is uniquely wired to not be able to figure out and it's frustrating and I hate it. But I'm gonna call it here. Let's go back into this room. Sit here. Think about what we did. Anyway, I mean that was fun. Uh that sounds like a question, like that was fun. I mean, my fucking cold has not recovered entirely. My sinuses are on fire. I hate every second that I'm speaking. Every every word I say is agony. But you can find words that I am not saying and have, in fact, written down at my website, mattholandauthor.com, which you can find at www.mattholandauthor.com. I promise I'll get back to writing new stuff for there soon. I've just been very busy. Um... Once I started a new job, that's taken up a lot of my time, and I don't have time for things that I usually enjoy anymore, and I feel like my life is slowly draining away from me. Like, every day, a new part of me is murdered and is gone forever every single day of my life. So yeah, that's my, that's my life right now. Uh, and it's also... I've got a cold too, so follow me on social media. You can find those. And my voice is doing this because I've got an indigestion and it's making me want to throw up. <clears throat> oh, you can find me on Blue Sky at galithamat.bsky.social. That's at G A double L A E T H A M A double T dot B S K Y dot social. It's MattHollandAuthor.com is my username. You can find me on Blue Sky. You can also find me on Twitter, which is, again, it's MattHollandAuthor.com. The username on that one is at Galitha Matt with an underscore between Galitha and Matt. So that's G-A-L-L-A-E-T-H-A -L -L -E underscore Matt with two Ts. Uh, yeah, check out my book series, Hair of the Dog. You can find more of these streams on my YouTube channel. Where I do promise I'm in a better mood. For a lot, for a lot of these, I'm having fun. <laughs> and like... And like, yeah, like, I'm having fun in this one. It's just... In a uniquely bad place for it today, <laughs> I think. But hey, still fucking... If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't have been playing it for four hours. So I'll give it that. Anyway... Uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're probably on this channel already, but if you are not currently subscribed, chuck a subscribe and a like in there. Why not? You know, who's it hurt? Nobody. Yeah. Do it. Do it now. I'm waiting for you to do it. I'm going to sit here until you do it. And... Apparently, I know the future, and I know that you're not doing it right now. So do it. Do it. Do it. Subscribe. Like button. Go to my short stories and read them. Read my book series, Hair of the Dog, on Amazon. And throw money in my tip jar. Which I call, buy me a beer. That makes it sound kind of frivolous, but... You know, throw money at this, please. <laughs> Somehow, my brain, my brain. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go now. This has been a lot. Most of it fun. I'll see you all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try and do a Devil May Cry stream next week at some point. And if you enjoy hearing me complain about games, oh boy, have I got some complaining for you for that one. Like, yeah, that, that, that whole thing, that fucking V character is the worst ever, and I hate it, but everything else in that game is fun. So that's always fun, but, uh, yeah. 
That's it. That's all the fucking shit you people deserve. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next week, I hope. If not, then then I will be doing this again next Saturday. I hope, again, I can't guarantee streaming times. I've never been able to do that. I can never carve out time for this stuff. Um, generally, the best way to find out about these streams is to follow me on social media, so go to the links I told you before. Blue Sky, Twitter, and my website, and you'll find everything you need there. Because they're the places where I announce stuff. Usually about an hour before they start. My voice has now gone. So I'll see you hopefully next week.